joining, joining us early this morning into this afternoon as we prepare uh, for our next game. We're going to take a break and we will take it back to, uh, in about uh, five Yes, Master Control, uh, we, you're still with us here. We're going to just break momentarily for maybe about five minutes, and then when you get the cue from, from us, um, we will uh, let you know. Uh, just we break just for five minutes, and then we will give you the cue when we're ready to get back to live action here. The Beamers versus the Razor Massive. Master Control, if you are with us, as we go, five, four, three, 
two, one. Welcome, welcome once again to live action here at the James Ronald Webster's Park with a continuation of the second semi-final of the APL tournament. The Beamers playing in the yellow and black jerseys will be taking on the defending champions in last year's inaugural tournament. That's the Farrington Super Sixers in the orange with blue stripes. The Farrington Super Sixers, they have won the task and they have elected to bat. And so they will be posting a total for the Beamers. The in last year's final, actually, it was the other way around, and so we are certainly going to be in for a keenly contested encounter here between these two teams, the Farrington Super Sixers and the Beamers. As I say once again, welcome Zulma. Good afternoon. Welcome to live coverage here of the Angular Premier T20 2022 second semi-finals. Good afternoon. Welcome to the second second uh, game in the in today's in this tournament, the today's second game with the teamers, the bowling hopefully yeah, they will be bowling, um, versus the super sixers from the Dagon. And they're all in their glory, the the fountain, the beamers in their yellow and the Farrington Super Sixers in their bright orange. If you didn't know that they're the Farrington Super Sixers, you would think that they're prisoners because they normally dress in orange jumpsuits, you know. So the weather here at the JRWP is quite enticing, I would say. Very hot, but um, at the same time, sunshine. No clouds in the air, we don't expect any rain this afternoon. So this game should go very well this afternoon. Yes, uh, the opening batters are out in the middle. Uh, we can see Monson Hodge as uh, play begins. In the first over there from the polyclinic end, we'll get the name of the bowler there for you in uh, just a bit. Uh, this ball to Monson Hodge. He just uh, pushes it out into the on field. Here is ball again coming from the polyclinic end. And the Monson Hodge pushes back down the uh, wicket. Uh, the bowler himself here. Yes, Daniel Dorham uh, bowling for the Beamers, opening the bowling from the center polyclinic end, tosses it up again. Monson Hodge getting to the pitch of it and uh, just pushes it out there into the covers, feels there, uh, and uh, there is no run there. Here is Dorham again, off spin, left after that afternoon, and uh, here we see wrapped on the pad there, but not out says umpire is that uh, Colin Liddy down on the other end. He's assisted by uh, smasher uh, Keith, uh, Keithley. Here is Dorham again. Tosses up. Balls to Hodge. He pushes out into the offside. The uh, player just run down there from the point and uh, picks up, but not before the, bats, the batter there in Monson Hodge can pick uh, can <laughs> complete the single so the score moves on to one in over number one ball by Daniel Dorham he's bowling from the polyclinic end semi-final number two we would have just seen the completion of the razor massive overcoming the blowing point pointers here is Dorham again runs away from the polyclinic end Tosses it up, balls to that looks like Proctor this time, and he shoulders arms the wicket keeper there in Borton collects. And uh, the end of over number one, at uh, end of over number one, it's one without loss. Uh, the Farrington Super Sixers winning the task and electing to bat the Beamers after having completed a good over there by Durham, uh, just conceding one run.
from? You good? As I say, good afternoon to Mr. Renford Kelsick. Good afternoon, Kelsick. We have a good game on our hands here. We're hoping we'll have a good game on our hands here this afternoon, Kelsick. Yes, good afternoon, listeners, wherever you are, and we really are hoping so. As um, you know, in cricket is such a cricket is such a game, huh? Just when you needed it most, you didn't get it. Point is, all through the season they were doing very well, and just today, well, they faltered. But cricket, a, glorious, a game of glorious uncertainties. So, the point is going down to Razor Massive. So, Razor Massive now will be waiting for the winner of this game here. That was a very good over from Durham. Just 1-1 one, one coming from the first over. Yes, so the Beamers, they would well, have gotten a start. They would certainly want, but uh, the Farrington Super Sixers, they not in any spot of bother. They're not chasing. Is this going to be gums now? Coming from the pavilion in balls to Hodge and a beautiful shot there. It punches on the rocking back on the back foot there and just punching it square into the boundary and four good runs to at least continue from where he would have left off in the preliminaries. Yes, um, a very good shot indeed. That one was shot outside the awesome pen. Just Hodge just rocking back on the back foot there. Punch it past the man there, diving to his right, but to no avail. And the ball rocket in today, point boundary for four. Very good shot indeed from Manson. Very good shot there. And uh, Gums will probably say, well, okay, we want to keep it much tight, much closer to the batter there in Munson Hodge, who has gotten some good starts throughout this uh, tournament in the preliminary um, games as well. And uh, certainly looking to put up a good score here gums runs away from us gentle medium pace uh, this time a lot more bounce but uh, punches it into the onside there is hodge the fielder comes around uh, collects but the batsman in the meantime cross for a single takes the score onto six without loss and we're in over number two crowd is picking up slowly yeah we can see some folks going there coming into the Law gate there and into the pavilion. As Gums runs away from us now, bowls to Proctor, facing up for the first time, stylishly plays it into the covers. The fielder there, that looks like, is that Mentos? Um, feels cleanly, and there is no runs there. Gums bowling to uh, one, two, three, four men on the onside. Here's Gums again, bowls to Proctor's, and again to Proctor pushes. Nicely, but the uh, field at there uh, looks like by Ron Rogers, and uh, no runs can be had. So, yes, nice crowd building up here. This, this is like I said, this game last year was a uh, very good one. Here is Gums runs away from us now, bowls to Proctor. This time, he just uh, plays it into the onside and crosses for a single to get off the mark his first run moves the score on to seven without loss in over number two ball by gums nice bright afternoon here certainly here is gums runs away from us now balls to hodge pushes past the bowler on the onside and in the meantime, just jog two for single. So rotating the strike nicely as we come to the end of over number two. After two overs, it's eight without loss. Gums is on. Hodge, sorry, is on. Is that uh, six and. Uh, Seven, sorry, and Proctor is on one. Yes, another good over there. And the first ball being punched away, and the bowler really they are tightening up his length, and the batsman just come, coming forward gently, especially Proctor and getting a single. But the bowlers will have to be very tight here today, because you know this is the semi-final match. The winner, of course, will go on to play the finals tomorrow. It will be Doran to continue the second over. Short run, balls to that uh, Hodge. 
pushes down the onside, the bowler does Jogum's feel and uh, one run to Hodge, he moves to eight, the score will move to nine, with our last over number three, here is Durham again, this time he bowls to Proctor who plays stylishly into the covers there and the fielder there picks up, tosses the ball back to the bowler in Durham, he runs away from the umpire, to bowls, this time Proctor just uh, stretches forward, not getting uh, right into the middle of the bat as you would like, but just uh, plays it uh, on the inside edge back down to the pitch. Uh, here is Durham again, bowls, and this time Proctor just punches it out there, and uh, is that uh, Gums running to his right picks up, but they, in the meantime the batsman cross for a single. Proctor moves to two, and the score moves to ten. 10 without loss over number 3 and uh, it's going to there's a slight field change so to speak Proctor, uh, Hodge sorry waits for Durham and this time uh, tosses it up and just uh, flicking the wrist and punches it into the onside there where Jogum's field and in the meantime, the batsman cross, the batters cross for a single. Score moves on to 11. Here is Doran getting through his overs quickly on the back foot. Punches out there again, but feel it in nicely there. And um, this time can't um, get a single. Is Proctor. End of the over. After three overs, it's... 11 without loss. Another tight over there from the from the beamers, from the beamers there. Um, we see um, Proctor there trying to force the ball into the offside, and that one came off quickly off the bat, but it was well fielded. I think it's Saunders, the man who was feeling at short extra cover. So far, tight bowling here, and um, of course we know that the Barrington Super Sixers they are going to try their best to see how much how many runs they could get on the board. Yes, certainly, and um, so not a flowy of boundaries, so to speak. Just uh, playing each ball and its merit, both batters, and um, looking to set themselves and looking to set a, a huge total. In the meantime, it's Gums again, second over, from runs away from the uh, commentators in. This one going through the uh, and uh, Hodge just. Trying to play outside the off stump, and the ball just uh, missing the bat and going to to Burton there, who collects cleanly. No damage. Gums, big lift gums there. Short run up, getting through these overs quickly. Here is gums again. It's time, uh, just a little bit uneven bounce there, but Hodge getting to the pitch of it and just pushes it out into the covers. And uh, there is no run there. Fila picks up. There was no run. 11. 11 for no loss. So we see uh, so there was a change in feel there. Here is Gums to Hodge. This time he's up on his toes and negating the bunks well and uh, he's playing it out there, fielder comes in on the field and there is no runs. So 11 without loss in over number 4. So we've seen some good discipline, tight bowling here from these two opening bowlers for the Beamers so far comes again, runs away from us, bowls to Hodge and he stylishly plays it into the covers again but can't beat the fielder there who just um, shuffles to his left, fields, picks up, tosses it there to the man at uh, is that uh, shot mid-off mid-off, sorry and he tosses it back to Gums who runs away from us again, bowls to Hodge 
and uh, drives back over the bowler's head. The man there from short mid off just uh, shuffles to his left fields cleanly. And in the meantime, the, bats, the batter there picks up a single. What the something score. of interest here, um, Tony, is that um, Shaka is feeling at a short, a very short, um, what called extra cover for, in, for that push that just went over his head a while ago. Yes, certainly. Here is Hodge. This time he bowls to Praktor. And uh, uh, that's Hodge here feels cleanly uh, to uh, brings to the end the over. And at the end of over number four, it's 12 without loss. Kelsey. Another tight over here from, from Gums. Keeping the ball up to the bat and really forcing the batsman to stroke the ball, but they're stroking it straight to the fielders. Very good over indeed from Gums. Yes, so Proctor, uh, Proctor is two. Hodge, his opening partner, is 10. It's 12 without loss. So just going, uh, just a, a tick at four and over. And we have seen uh, we've seen the the beamers um, for this year's, especially in the preliminaries, they have not looked as organised as they have looked today, Celtic. Uh, so really, um, uh, with a difference in mind here. It, well, is that a new bowler there? So Mentos is going to take up the attack from the Central Polyclinic end. So yes, Durham um, has given away to Mentos. And Mentos was just marking his run there. And, uh, not seeing any express pace, gentle medium and spin from the polyclinic, central polyclinic end. Here is Mentos, left arm orthodox, balls to Proctor who punches uh, the uh, ball traveling quickly there to the fielder there who feels cleanly but not before uh, the batsman could have a run and Hodge his 11th run that moves the score on to 13 brings Proctor into strike facing up to Mentos Mentos tosses it up and Proctor just dispatches it <laughs> into the boundary for four. Bad ball given the right treatment, Kelsic, uh, there from Proctor. Yes, a very bad ball indeed. Just tossing the ball high in the end. Proctor just going down and giving it the treatment, hitting it into the cow hole. Is the cow hole you call it? Yes, cup into corner. The cup corner. Yes. Cup corner there for four good runs. Yes, four good ones. And um, he certainly want to redeem himself. Pushes the score on to 17. Proctor moves to 6. Here is Mentos. Mentos. Bowls this time to Proctor. Uh, much better length and line. Pushing him back. And he just plays it out in there. The covers there. Hodge fields. No runs. Mentos again. From the central part of clinic again. Bowls tosses it up again. And uh, Hodge uh, has made an error there. And, uh, yeah, tosses it up, Hodge <laughs> plays it high in the air. The feeler running there uh, from the mid-off there, trying to get across and to effect the catch, not being able to do so, and chance going a big in there, uh, Kelsey. Yes, it was high in the air. Was the ball was moving away from him. He had a long way to go. Unfortunately, he couldn't make the catch. But that was a very bad shot indeed. Yes, bad shot there from Proctor. Could probably say it's got some block here. Is Mentos this time balls to Hodge Hodge on the back foot and punches it uh, through the covers. The feeler coming around there and uh, has made a meal of it. The ball going into the boundary, four runs there to Hodge. Not good feeling down there at all. Is that Shaka Hodge down there on the long off boundary? Certainly looks so. Um, Getting around, getting around well, but not, not able, able to get to, down and yes. stop it. In fact, it's stopped. So, four runs to Hodge, Munson Hodge. He moves to 17. Score moves to 21 without loss. He has Mentos again. 
and uh, this one again just lollipop <laughs> as <laughs> Jeffrey Boycott used to say and uh, just pulled over mid wicket and into the boundary for four not good bowling at all there to finish the over there by Mentos not good bowling at all Montes, Montes is just throwing the ball high in the air um, when he started first, he was pushing the ball through, but now he's just flighting the ball and giving the batsman too much of a chance. And um, knowing um, Hodge and Proctor, they're going to take full advantage. Yes, they're going to take full advantage. Hodge has uh, moved on to 21. Um, Proctor, he's on 7. And they are certainly um, really... They have seen what the bowlers have had to offer and they have set themselves and are really pushing on here. Uh, now we're going to see a change in bowling here from, well, Vigli, well, Gums seems as though he's going to continue. This is Giovanni Gums. He is going to continue uh, so far. He's bowled pretty well so far, been able to contain the batters, but um, the Beamers uh, certainly not one to give away many dark, uh, Kelsey. Yeah, not want to give away a lot of runs here and um, see some adjustments to the field. And the man from um, mid, mid on is coming into a short mid on. And it will be Giovanni who will be continuing from this, the pavilion end. Yes, uh, Giovanni um, continuing. Here is he, balls to Proctor who comes forward, pushes just past the feeler there and that looks like that Mentos who feels no run I must say that uh, Hodge is on 18 Proctor is on 7 here is Guns to Proctor off the back foot and trying to pace the um, covers there but can't do so feel it there by Hodge and no runs so, good ball in there by Gums so far. Here is Gums again. Balls to Proctor. Proctor punches this time. Uh, passes the fielder there. Uh, there and um, it's almost going to go for, well, they would have only run one run because the batter there in Proctor was taking some evasive action. Appears as though the ball would have ricocheted from him as well. As you see, um, some uh, the Gums is giving a. He's asking to have some attention there, but Proctor seems to be in, in seems to be okay, and so he picks up a run. The score goes on to 20, 26 without loss. We are in over number six here is Gums again balls to Hodge this time just drives into uh, the offside fielder picks up the batsman can't score 26 for six in over number six nearing the end of the power playovers here is Gums again to ball to Hodge Hodge just pushing it past the bowler firmly down to the man at short mid off feels cleanly and the batsman can't score so bowling to the field is gums a pack offside field here is he again bowls and uh, again um, hodge drives through the covers but uh, feelers uh, well uh, positioned, well placed, and uh, uh, feeling nicely as well. Uh, Hodge this time, uh, feeling cleanly, and the batsman in Hodge can't score. End of the over, at the end of six overs, is 26 for six. The Farrington Superstars winning the task and electing to bat, uh, setting a score here in this second semi final. This was a very good over from, from, um, from Gums. He kept the ball up, and um, the, the batter there just Stroking the ball nicely, but um, straight to the fieldsman. Yes, yeah, so we. What are the, the scores? 26 individual are scores, the, scores. Well, Proctor has two for eight. Munson has. has 
18. Okay, 18 and 18. Yes, and eight. Yes, good. Good, good, good going so far. Good going. And it's a tight, and that's um, what, 26 overs from the power play. Yes, sir. and uh, they have been very disciplined so far. That of the the, the beamers, um, they have kept the ball close to the wicket. That we have not seen any wides, any no balls, so to speak. And so they have really kept themselves well. That looks like a change in bowling. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be Saunders. And so we uh, continue with spin from the other hand. Here is Saunders. And that one is meat and drink. And. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> well. Gently loosener there. And we know how difficult it is for leg spinners to really. Um, control um, the uh, deliveries. That one was a, a gift given to Proctor that he gleefully accepted six ones. Yes, and he just barely went over the man's head there. I thought he could have tried to catch it, but unfortunately it was over his head and into the boundary. He's making some adjustments to the field there, and here, in he comes again. Again, and uh, this time he's and that's going to be six ones again. So not good bowling at all here from Saunders. Uh, not uh, six ones, consecutive sixes uh, hit there by Proctor. And uh, Saunders trying to find his way, uh, not, not getting on target uh, with his gentle leg spin, uh, Kelsic. Yes, um, it's very hard. Uh, and that, as a matter of fact, I thought that Shaka would have brought himself on, or Joseph Gums. Here is Saunders again, and this time uh, just looped, uh, tossed up really, but uh, this time uh, just a little shorter and Proctor missing everything. Uh, Proctor has raced on to 20, and the score has gone to 38 without uh, loss. The uh, Farrington Super Sixers winning the toss and electing to bat here is Saunders again. Gentle medium, uh, the, well, leg spin. Tosses up and this time Proctor pushes while taking the edge and running down into short third man. The fielder comes around fields, but the, in the meantime, Proctor picks up a single. He moves to 21 and the score moves to 38 without loss. We're in over number seven here. The Beamers, well, I've been told 40. Yes, 40. Here is uh, Saunders again, and this time it's Hodge who pulls to mid wicket and picking up a single. He moves on to 22. Yes, he moves to 22, and the score moves on to 41. Yes, certainly. Here is Saunders again. His leg spin this time, a much better link, much better line. Proctor just, um, just getting back on the back foot and pushes it into the onside. The Jogums field, the end of the over. At the end of over number seven, it is 41 without loss. Kelsey. A tight over, a very good over there for the, um, the Super Sixers, getting some 13 runs or so, I think, from that, or 14 runs from that over. We saw um, the Saunders trying to get his length and just giving um, Proctor some, some batting practice, hitting two consecutive sixes. Yes, certainly. And um, just uh, pushing the scoring. They started circumspectly, watchful. And they have gotten their eye in and uh, certainly set now to really put on a good score. The Beamers, on the other hand, will... Um, look to see how they can contain these two batters. We see here the, another bowling change, uh, Gums, uh, Giovanni Gums, uh, who would have bowled some three overs, uh, giving way to the wily veteran there in Joe Gums. Uh, this time he will be uh, coming from the commentator's end, the pavilion end, and uh, he will be bowling to the batter there in that of Monson Hodge, who is on 22, scores 41 
without loss as we approach over number eight. Live cricket action. Here is Joe Guns. Tosses up and coming to the pitch of the, uh, the ball is Hodge. Plays it back to Gums, who partially feels, but recovers nicely. There is no run. Here is Gums again. Balls to Hodge, who chips down the wicket and uh, chips it uh, there to the fielder there. That looks like Shaka Hodge and uh, missing everything, uh, dropping what was a dolly catch there, Kelsic. And in the meantime, the batsman cross for Singh. Yes, yeah, a very, very simple catch. And I think that that's exactly why he's placed there because we know Monson like that shot. Coming forward and just gentle, gentle love. Wow. Part of cricket, part of cricket, Tony, part of cricket, yes. all in the game. Joe Gums almost foxing out Hodge. This time he's bowling to Proctor. Proctor pushes that uh, foot forward and uh, strike, strike the ball into the offside. Fielded it quickly and an attempt of a run out there. Good backing up there by Hodge. Certainly sure that he will be kicking himself for dropping what was a dollar catch, but like Kelsic said, that's the game of cricket. Here's Joe Gums, runs away from us gently and uh, holds to Proctor, who went for what I was an agriculture shot, trying to heap it over the stands into the road, missing everything. And the, the wicket keeper from behind the stumps field and no damage here. Here's Joe Gums again, tosses it up, bowls to Proctor. Proctor um, comes forward and pushes it back to the bowler who feels and uh, must say that uh, the beamers they're getting through these overs very quickly here is Joe Gums again tosses it up again Proctor circumspect defensively end of the over good over there from Joe Gums um, could have easily picked up a wicket and also giving away just the single from the drop catch there Good start there to uh, the Wiley veteran days, Juggums. Yes, a very good over indeed, very good over. And I think that that's the main reason why Shaka brought him on, to break the partnership and to see that Shaka is the one who put that simple catch down. But all in all, as we know, the veteran there, he's a very good bowler, very, very good bowler. He has a lot of guile, and he will bring you down the wicket or he'll put you back on the back foot. A very good bowler he did. Yes, uh, certainly. Um, eight overs, 42 without loss. Uh, so the platform been set. Uh, and um, the opening batters in Proctor and Hodge, uh, 21 and 20, 21 and 21 respectively. And uh, here is... Saunders this time around. Better um, delivery this time. Uh, not, as, not as good as the shot there in that of hard. Just a gentle push and uh, had the power, the timing, and pushing it over a long off for six runs, Kelsey. A very good shot indeed. Just coming forward and he had the timing. The timing was there, so the ball was able to go over, over the, 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 the feeler's head. Very good shot indeed. Okay, so 48 from that shot from Munson Hodge. Here is Saunders again, looking to what a better length, but not again, uh, just tosses it up, uh, meat and drink there for Hodge, meat and drink for Hodge, and he much obliged. Four, six runs, sorry, six runs, consecutive sixes, Saunders, the Beamers certainly will need to try and see if they can get a word to Saunders because he's just giving away um, yeah, just, runs he's just, here. He's just tossing the ball high and, and giving the batsman enough time to get that ball away. You see Joseph Gumsey having a few words with him. And that's the 50, 54 without loss. Munson has raced on to 33 from 30 deliveries. Here is Saunders again. Again, yeah. tossed up again and again put into the mid-wicket boundary this time uh, for four runs there to 
Munson Hodge. He moves on to 37, and the score moves on to 58 without loss. We are in over number nine, bowled here by uh, the leg spinner Saunders from uh, the Central Polyclinic, and, uh, and he's been taken to task here, Kelsey. Taken to task, three balls, and that's 12 and 4, 16 runs from three balls. Here is again. Saunders this time, um, much better link. Uh, Munson can only uh, push it into the, uh, into the offside, sorry. The feeler there in fields. Here is Saunders again, this time flatter and faster. This time Hodge um, misses, collected there by the keeper. So good comeback there in the end after giving away uh, some 16 runs. There, it's the score is 58 for without loss. Sorry, Munson has 37 from 31 balls. Uh, Danny Proctor 21 from 20. Kelsey. Yes, a very good over there for the for the Farrington Super Sixers. Some 16 runs there coming from that over, and um, we saw some comeback deliveries. But um, I think what Saunders should have done after the first six, you don't give him the flight again. You you push the ball through. He pushed the ball through, and he was not doing that. So, fortunately, um, Manson was able to take full advantage and, and, and get in two more boundaries. As we welcome back, Doc. It's going to be Joe Gums to continue. Joe Gums has bowled well thus far. Gums just one run off his first over. Is in again now, Joe Gums, the right arm off spinner to bowl to Dandan Proctor. Proctor's trying to heave this one over the leg side. This one comes off of his uh, thigh pad and runs away down to short third man. Waiting on the signal, it will be leg buys. So one leg by added to the total. The score moves to 59 without loss. Good partnership between Monson Hodge and Dandan Proctor. Punishment 59 or 55 deliveries. It's going to be Joseph Gums. The right arm off the interval now to Monson Hodge. And to the delivery, Monson is tripping down the track, pushing it into the offside where Akeem Saunders is at long off. It will be just a single. 60 now. 60 without loss, the score. 60 without loss here in the course of over number 10. Very good start for the Farrington Super Sixers. The batting lineup may be a bit threatened today without Terry Adams as it's pushed into the offside by Danny Proctor for no run. There's no Terry Adams for the Super Sixers today. Proctor chipping it straight down towards long on. It drops short of a gums. It will be a single. There's no Terry Adams. There's no Landefort either for uh, the Farrington Super Sixers. I believe Landefort is away on under 17 duty with the Leeward Islands. Gums. Into ball to Hodge. Hodge is uh, skipping down the track and uh, punching into the onside. Gets a single. Very easy going by Munson Hodge. He's well into his innings now. He's 38 from 30, 39, sorry, from 36. Danny Proctor is 22 off 23. Here comes Gums, the ball to Danny Proctor. Proctor trying to go back and tug it away into uh, the leg side. He's out. And he's, he's hit the ball away. He's hit the ball away. And has he been sent? Yes, he's been sent. I think the umpire sent him there. And so Danny Proctor has to go. The umpire has sent him because he hit away the ball. Daniel Proctor has to go in one of... One of the more obscure rules in cricket, but it is a rule nonetheless. You can't hit a ball off your stumps. You have to use whether your leg or your pad or... You can't hit the ball away from your stumps. That's what Danny Proctor did, and he has been dismissed. There's quite a few rules coming into the game of cricket, as you know, from October. Um, 
when the ball is hit and you're out caught, even though you cross, you have to go, you have the, the new batter has to face. The new batter has to face. So that's hit the ball. I think that's hit the ball and he's out. But last week we saw here to um, Doc that we had a very good opening stand between the hot brothers. And immediately after the break, um, they, they wanted 63 runs from the, the next 10 overs. And they, they fell short by 17. So as we say all the time, a game of girls and 17, especially when we have the water break. Well, the water break is being taken now in the middle of the over. After the end of the over, actually, it was the final ball of the over. The water break has been taken. It's 62 for Warner. Mountain Hall, she is 39 from 36. The man just dismissed was Danny Proctor. It fell for, I believe you call it hitting the ball twice. Hitting I believe ball it's twice, the official yeah. rule, hitting yeah. the ball twice. Yeah. So he dismisses, brings Yusef Hodge uh, to strike now. Yusef Hodge, the brother of Munson Hodge, upon a great opening stand last a week, but Yusef coming down to number three today. Yes, very good going here by the super. Well, actually, you could have seen that Joe Gums was pushing his finger up because Joe, of, of all the guys in this cricket, you know Joe Gums. Yeah. <laughs> he, is, he, he, he follows his cricket full. Um, he knows the rules. And, you know, from the time he struck the ball, um, Joe Gums had his fingers up. Yes, and a very unorthodox way to get dismissed, but the dismissal nonetheless. We've seen the very unorthodox ways for battles to be dismissed. We saw earlier in the season uh, where Sean Hodge was dismissed via the Manker route uh, by Shaka Hodge. Shaka taking off the base at the non-striker's end uh, and Sean had to go. Well, that was a rule that they had a long, long time ago. And I think they, 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 they had discarded it, but they brought it back because they realized that the batter is trying to steal a run before the, before the ball is being bowled. It is going to be Monson Hodge on strike. Monson, the man on strike. And Akeem Saunders, who has been taken to the cleaners thus far. He's back for a third over. He's rolled two for 30. Yes, very expensive. Very, very expensive indeed. It's going to be a change in bowling, so not a Kim Saunders. So it's not going to be Saunders to bowl. It's going to be Shaka Hodge, it looks like. Shaka has taken the ball from Saunders. Hodge for the first time in this encounter. You would have seen him opening the bowling in the last game. And bowling in the power play. Here comes Hodge. The ball to Monson. Monson is carving it through the offside. It's going to get close to the boundary. In fact, it's going to get into the extra cover boundary for four. A very good shot indeed. Very good shot. Very good shot indeed. Just coming forward and place it between cover and extra cover down to the boundary for four. Not, not a man had a chance to get that one because he really, really struck it very, very hard indeed. He stroked it rather. The placement on the shot was key as well to get it between uh, the deep cover fielder and the long off fielder. A very, very good shot by Monson Hodge. He moves on to 43. 43 for Monson Hodge. It's 66 for Warner. 66 for Warner. As here comes uh, Shaka Hodge. Hodge waiting on his field to get set. Into his jog now to bowl to Monson. Flight it up. Monson gets this one off the leaning edge and it's been put down. Put down at point. Well, well, well. Is that Chapo again? That man, Chapo Hodge. He tried his best, but Roger, he sorry. To it. He tried his best. I wonder what he'll say for that one. Yusef now pushing into the offside gets a single. 
So that's two chances there for, for Munson. No doubt. As I always say, it's part of the game of cricket. You can't win them all, you can't take them all. Munson on to 45 from 39. Good innings thus far. This one is whipped away for the two runs. It looks like they're coming back for the second. Oh. And uh, no. not out, says the umpire. I think that was a direct throw. It seems to me as it was a direct hit. Our oh, distance was broken before, but it seems to me as if that was a Tony. As if you could look at the replay. It looked like a direct it hit, yes. A direct hit from, from my point of view. But so Tony will let us know if that was a direct hit or not. Monson is on at uh, 46. Yusuf is on a one-off one delivery. The score is 70 for one. 70 for one. Here comes Shackle to bowl to Monson. Monson carving it high. Down to was long off doing his tall. He can't get there. That's a half century to Monson Hodge. Monson raises his half century. A very good half century. He moved to 52 from 40 deliveries. Yeah, good going here for Monson. Good going. He had his chances and he's part of the game of cricket. And it's a good 50, very good 50. Shack out to Bolton Mountain Hodge. Fight it again. Hodge opens the face and gets it down towards third man. They will get one and come back for the second. Mountain moves to 54. And at the end of 11, it's 78 for one. Yes, that's about what? Seven runs per over. Good going here for, for, for the Farrington Super Sixers. After 11, 78 for one. Going to be Joe Gums who will be coming back into the attack. He's bowled two overs, has one for four. Yes, tight bowling here from, from Joe Gums. We know that he is one of those bowlers who doesn't give anything away. He's a tight bowler. I know that the um, Farrington batters there at watching him closely. Looking at that replay of that run out chance. It's, ooh, well, that was close. That was very close. But the umpire said, not out. Gums will be bowling to Yusef Hodge. Here comes Gums. And the ball to Yusef. It's short, but Yusef plays the ball very respectfully. Just back and pushing into the offside for no run. Joe comes once again. Right arm over the wicket to bowl to Yusef Alch. Alch once again back and punching into the onside this time. Yet again, it's no run. Once again to Yusef. Yusef is clipping this one down to long on this time. And they will get just a single. Monson back on the strike. Monson has already raised his half century. He's 54 or 41. As it's going to be Joe Gums, right arm over the wicket. The ball to Monson. Monson back, punching straight back to the bowler. No run. 79 for one. 79 for one, the score. As Gums walks back to his mark. Gums, the right arm off spinner. Over the wicket to bowl to Monson. Monson down the track and pushing it down towards a long off for a single. Two deliveries left in this over. Just two runs off it so far. That's been a good over by Joe Gums. 
Here comes now comes the ball to Yusuf this time. Yusuf onto the back foot, pushing back to the bowler. It's a dot ball. Another tight over there from Joe Gums. Some three runs, I think, coming from that over or two. But very, very tight over indeed. Joe Gums, as we know, is, a, is one of these bowlers. He doesn't give anything away. So from his three overs, I think he has something like five runs from his three overs. Very good going. Six, from six, three. six from three. Very good going indeed. It's going to be Shaka Hodge to continue. So it's after 12 overs. After that? 12, it's 80 for one. Shaka Hodge's first over went for 16. Was carved around the park by Monson Hodge. As it's going to be. Monson, who is on strike for Shaka Hodge. Shaka to bowl to Monson. Oh, that's a good ball there. Beating Monson outside the line of the off stump. Lots of Hodges in the middle now. So I'm going based on first name. You have Shaka Hodge bowling to Monson. Hodge with Yusef Hodge at the other end. <laughs> All Hodges, huh? So Shaka bowling to Monson. Once again, Monson beating outside the line of the off stump. Two dot deliveries. The ball beating at Monson outside the line of the off stump. Here comes Shaka once again to bowl to Monson. Monson down the track, driving it straight back to Shaka for no run. Three dots in a row. Shaka into bowl to Monson. Hodge. Hodge driving down the track. It will be a single. Score well, moves to 81 for one. Monson's on the 56. Yusef Hodge is two. Shaka to bowl to Yusef. Yusef is beating outside the line of the off stump. He's beating him for pace and flight, I must say. Shaka Hodge. He's slowing it up just a bit. Hodge into bowl to Yusef. Yusef opening the face, guiding it down towards a point. Gets a single. That's going to be the end of the 13th over. It's a good over. At the end of 13, it's 82 for one. Very good over indeed from Shaka Hodge. Keeping the runs down there, as um, Monson is very, as Monson very quiet. He's beaten him on three occasions and um, getting the Yusuf to face him. But all in all, another good over there from the... 56 or something like that. Hold on. 56. 56. It's going to be Joe Gums to continue. Joe Gums the ball to Yusef Hodge. Yusef pushing into the offside for a single. There to a short backward point. It's uh, going to be Gums once again. The bowling to Monson Hodge comes to Hodge. Hodge down the track, struck powerfully. The ball striking the stumps, so that completely stole its momentum. But the bowler or fielder did not touch it. It is just a single. Monson moves on to 57. It's 84 for one. As it's going to be Gums. Gums now to bowl to Yusef Hodge. To this delivery. Hodge is chipping down the track and getting it past the short cover fielder for a single. Three singles off the over so far. 85, 85 for one. Down the track and straight back to the bowler. Bowler does his own fielding. It's no run. Monson Hodge who's on strike. He's 57 off 48 deliveries. Their current run, current run rate is about 6.2 runs and over. We're at 6.22. Gums. 
driven down the track straight to long off at a single to Yusuf Hodge. Yusuf Hodge is on five from ten deliveries. It's 86 for one. One ball left in the 14th over. And it's chipped down to mid on. They want two. They're coming back for two. This is very good running up by the Hodge brothers. Yes, another good over there from Joe Gums. I think his four overs cost something like 12. 12 runs. Very, very good spell of ball in there by the veteran. Keep holding back the, um, the Farrington Super Sixers and keeping the score down because they were going at a rapid rate. And, and we realized too that they did not get, even get a boundary off of his bowling. Four overs, one for 12. Brilliant bowling by Joe Gums. As it looks like Shaka Hodge is going to continue the attack. And that's after 14 overs, right? The 14 overs, it's 88 for one. 88 for one. Current partnership is 26 off 24 deliveries. Hodge's will two overs has gone for 18 runs. Monson Hodge is taking a liking to his bowling. Shaka. The right arm off spinner. Into ball to Monson and again trying that typical Shaka Hodge man card. And has he been sent? I think I I I think I think he's been has he been sent? It seems so. Well, yeah. I think he has been yes, sent. Yes, Shaka caught him. Yes, Shaka got him. Yes, Shaka got him. Yes, he is. Yes. For the. Yes, he's out. Yes, he's out. That's right. You know that is Shaka. You're not going to try that with Shaka. Doc, you know that. You don't try to steal a run on Shaka because he's going to give you, get you out. You know that is Shaka. That is Shaka. He plays cricket the hard way. He plays cricket the hard way. He plays cricket the hard way. He's out of his ground. He's out. I don't like it. No, I no, no, I no, don't no. It's part like of it. the game. It's and part, I will of, tell you it's why, part Kelsey. of the game. Kelsey, okay. you were around this set. Was it in 1986? The World Cup, West Indies versus Pakistan. Caught the Walsh in the final over. He, was def he needed to defend four runs, I believe, from the last two balls. And when he was running in, he had opportunity to take up the non-striker stump. No, but this is he gave him a warning. No, 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 no. you don't it's want any more. It's become courtesy you in cricket to give a warning. No, you don't want him anymore. You don't want any more. You don't want any more. It's become courtesy. Yeah, it, no, 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 no courtesy in it anymore. Cricket is a hard game. You don't try to steal a run. That is what I'm saying to you. Because that is part of the game. You don't want it. Far too often it is happening. And it's part of the game of cricket. It's part of the game of cricket. Yeah, because the umpire sent him. And so the umpire put his hand up. It, uh, it, uh, the, the, the decision's not the question because it's the, it's the, it's the umpire's right to send them. Yeah, but, but it's usually courtesy no, for the bowler no, to give the no batsman a warning no, no, before no, taking no, off no, the, off the, the stumps. You don't have it's, to give It's not warning, have to, no, but it's courtesy. No, no, no. It's usually no, 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 what's not done. Anymore. Not anymore. It's doc. usually what no, is done. No, Doc. There's no courtesy anymore. Cricket is played the hard way. It's the hard way. He's trying to steal a run and he's out. Driven down to long off for a single. Yes, that's that's part of the game, Doc. Valbanks was on 99. Valbanks was on 99 right here. Uh, it may be Suraj Abel Vadi. <sighs> two dismissals today, two very, very new, uh, two obs uh, obscure form of dismissal. No. Two very obscure forms of dismissal. There's a rule. You cannot hit the ball with your bat. 
Uh, we're, we're not arguing the rule, no, Kelsey, because yeah, we know it's the rule. Yeah, but no, it's not true. It's just not things that no, we see no, no, often. No, no, no. Right. We but don't see it strange. happen. It is not strange, that. It's part of sport. I was given out here catching a ball, right? The guy threw the ball back at me, and the ball almost hit me my side, and I caught the ball, and the umpire gave me out. Because the ball would not have hit the stumps. This one's on the lake side. There's no one behind there. And they will run a few. And did they run three? Three wide, so that's four. And who's the new battle? It's Suraj Belvadi, I believe. Oh, okay. So let's hit high and it will drop towards square leg. They do get two. And the score is now 98, 93. Why you got 94? Now that is wide. That is wide. That's a wide and it's going to be another four. And going going, they're going to run three more, so it's four more wides. Did, that's the, they have ninety nine now. And we're into over what number? 15th. The field is being bowled. Hodge is into bowl to Monson. Monson clipping into the leg side for no. Uh, yes, they will get a runner. Sloppy. Very sloppy. Shaka Hodge very upset at the end of the over. It's 100 for two. Yes, um, 100 for two after 15 overs. And um, Monson is still there. Monson is on 60 and 50. 59. 59. Monson is on 59. And the new batter there, he's on three. three. So good going. 15. So you have what, five overs left? <laughs> so we'll see how many more runs that they can get in those five overs. That's 15 overs. 100 for two. 100 for two. It's going to be Daniel Dorham coming in for his second spell. He's about two overs for four runs. Two dismissals. One from hitting the ball twice. The other, the other being run out at the non-striker's end. What a game this, this game of cricket is. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, what a game and this game of cricket is. we have a new rule coming in October that if you hit the ball, you're out caught. Even though you're cross, you have to go back. The new batter must face. And that will be coming October. Dorama. This one is wrapping him on the pads. And uh, there's no throw. It's leg buys. One hundred and one for two here in the course of this the sixteenth over. Dorham, the ball and the man in uh, Belvadi uh, trying to get a strong sneaker run there, unable to do so. Dorham into bowl to Belavari. Trying to cut, unable to do so. That's another dot ball. Yet again, another dot ball there. Trying to cut again, not making good contact. Good over from Daniel Dorham so far. 
And again now to bowl to Belavari. He's heaving this one in towards Cow Corner. The fielder putting in an effort. But it dropped just short of him. Did well to keep it in front of him, did Michael Lewis. They will get two. That's a very good try there, very good try. And he kept the ball in front of him. Very, very good try that one. <laughs> But we noticed too that the score has dropped, dropped a lot. Um, the score has dropped a lot. Um, the bowlers really getting the ball, more bowling on the wickets now, and um, keeping the score down so that um, the, the batters out there is not as fluent as they were before. So it's after 16 overs. It's 103, 103 for two of 16 overs. So some four overs to go. Well, four overs left to go and uh, Farrington Day would have wanted it to get to a score of around 150 from where they were at a certain point where they were 100. A hundred uh, uh, for one, I believe, at around over number 15. It's going to be Wazem Mentos who's uh, going to take up the attack now from the polyclinic end. Mentos has bowled one over, he's gone to 14 runs. Mentos, the left arm off spinner, has a deep long off. A long on at midwicket, square leg and a deep cover. Driven out towards a deep cover. It's going to be nothing more than a single. Mounted on to 60. Mentos in now to bowl to Bellavari. Trying to hook this one into the leg side. Down to long on and picks up a single as well. Here comes uh, Mentos. Now into ball uh, to Hodge. Hodge drives it, drives it elegantly over cover. Uh, that's six more runs. My, my, my. He has played that shot so well today. Yes, it's one of his favorite shots. Just going forward and stroking it, poking out and down to the ground for six. Lovely shot indeed. Here comes Mentos. Once again into ball to Monson Hodge. Monson is back, pushing into the onside. This time will not get a run. Seeing two dismissals today in this, in, in this innings thus far. As this one is hit high and it's gone a long way. That's almost into the car park. Six more runs to Monson Hodge. He's in a mood today. And it seems as though that these mentors is just throwing the ball at his back. And, and because when you push the ball through, you won't get under it like that much. But they're just pushing the ball, giving the ball a lot of air. And Monson just coming forward and stroking, stroking it nicely. Monson is 72 off 56. The Farrington Super Sixers are 117 for two. And this is over number 17. Uh, they are batting very well. Very, very well uh, are the Franklin Super Sixers. Mentos into ball to Monson. Down the track, pushing it. Short extra cover. He will not get a run. Monson is 72 off 56. At the end of 17, it's 117 for two. 117 for two. 
two dismissals today. One dismissal by hitting the ball twice. The other by a man at the non-striker's end. Middlington, a good afternoon to you. Just take a guess as to who was the man to take out the off stump at the non-striker's end. Good afternoon to you, Doc. It was a pleasure. It's a pleasure being in good company as always. And I can't make that guess at all. That guess, that, that, that man must be Shaka Hodge. That is my guess. Obvious. That's down the ground for a single. As a new bowler is Daniel Durham. Well, uh, that, that will always be a contentious uh, debate. It, it, Very. It, I, I tell you what, um, it is in the rule book, and so I don't know why we make it content, contentious at all. It, it's, 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 just, it's in the rule book. It's just what has become the norm in today's cricket as it's down the ground and whipped away down towards Cow Corner. And they will look for one and come back for the second. Good running by Belavardi and Monson Horch. It is, it is something that um, even on the international scene, uh, commentators wanted to, uh, you know, take the West Indies on a 19 team to task for it. Um, but, uh, you know, it is in the rule book. And if, if the batsman is looking for an advantage, it's the duty of the bowler to ensure that doesn't happen. Oh, trying to cover to the offside. Oh, wrong end. Wrong end. Very much the wrong end. Oh, wrong because Bellavardi was three quarters of the way down the pitch. The throw from Williams went to the keeper's end. Both batters survive. I'm not sure that I need to be here. You know, I sat back this morning and listened to you guys. Um, I, I, I got in some of the game for the day. And you are doing a tremendous job. You didn't really need me here. <laughs> well, of course we need you because we're, we're currently being a commentator and the scorer and everything. It's nice to have a couple more bodies. Here comes Durham into bowler at uh, Monson. Down the track, pushing it into the offside. Bowler does his old fielding. That's no run. Monson 74 from 61. Very good innings thus far by Monson Hodge. But another very good over from Daniel Durham. Two Leeward Islands cricketers are two teammates in the Leeward Islands system. Durham to bowl to Hall charges back and cutting it into the offside. And they will just jog through for one. One hundred and twenty one for two. One twenty one for two. And say comes Durham into bowl to Belvari. And Belvari is uh, down to his fine leg. There should be more than one. Eh? They will jog through and get two. Let's see, no, it's going to be leg buys. A two leg buys to end the over. At the end of 18, it's 123 for two. 123 for two. Doc, uh, with two overs to go, what, what sort of targets uh, can the Sixers be looking forward to? Depends on, how, on what mood Monson Hodge is in for these last two overs. Uh, he's been very aggressive thus far, striking a number of sixes. Uh, and if he can uh, uh, keep uh, this uh, striking going against specifically Shaka Hodge, uh, who he took the task uh, uh, throughout this uh, bowling innings, they can get to around 145. All right, so I'm saying 150. I'm calling 150. Uh, oh. 150, 155 if Monson uh, get loose in the next two. Uh, it, it is going to be a, an uphill task. It is going to be an uphill task for the Beamers without the skipper, uh, Lindell. Lindell Richardson. It, uh, well, the, the, the likes of Dion Burton and the man Akim Sanders will have to come to the party today. Well, Shaka is worth three overs, one for 30. So far, he's been taken to the sword uh, by uh, Monson Hodge. Hodge drives it back down to Shaka for no runner. It's 123 for two. One, two, three for two. And here comes Shaka into ball to Monson Hodge. Hodge is down the track. He's tugging it into the lakeside. He's not made good contact. And I think he's held on to it. Well, that's a very good catch down there. As they made wicket boundary. And Shaka Hodge has gotten Monson. Monson has to go. 
And and with that delivery, um, Dom, you notice Shakar took all the pace of the ball. He flighted it, but he took the pace of the ball. And he was asking Mansinat from hitting it to hit it not from a, a straight line, but to hit it from just out, uh, just on or about outside the area of some. And he tugged it, and uh, in the end, it went high. It didn't go the distance. And uh, Akeem Sanders took what was, was a superb catch, running in. Full length dive and what a good catch there Very by Sanders. That's a man in form. And when you are in form, you are expected to take catches like those. It's gonna be my Simba Bowl the captain. He's, he's gonna come in and try to hit and hit hard from ball one. So a superb catch to dismiss a, a really good innings by uh, a good batsman, and so Manson Hodge goes in, in, the, in the 19th over uh, Sunday's ball, Shaka Hodge. Siraj Badvari is the man on strike. Manson Hodge, the man uh, who would have fallen. Manson Hodge just recently dismissed. Captain Manson Mabowena. Into the creases at non striker's end. Shaka Hodge. And now it's a ball to Belavadi. And Belavadi is guiding it into the offside. Uh, a good partial stop. Uh, they will come through for two. Two runs in the infield. That's good running uh, by Simba and uh, Siraj Belavadi. It was a good running there, good awareness by the two batsmen. It was good work done there by uh, the man Sharpo, but in the end, he allowed for two runs. Had the ball gone down to Giovanni and uh, the Bongri, it would have just been one. It's going to be Shaka Hodge in the ball to uh, Belavari, and Belavari is beating outside the line of the off stop. But the bails were taken off. In a split second there, and a flash of an eye by Dion Burton behind the stumps. He is so quick behind the stumps, is Dion Burton. Shaka in the ball now to Belavadi. Belavadi trying to sweep. It's so coming off the pad, not making good contact. And Shaka Hodge in this over is looking to pull things back and has done so well. He has bowled some four balls and has only considered some three runs. Just two actually. And two runs and dismissing the informants in Hodge. Well, if chips it high into the air, but no fielder will get there. They will take a single. One ball left in the over. That's, ac that's actually the over. That's the over signaled by the umpire. And at the end of the over, they are 126 for three. One, 126 for three. And uh, now, this in the, in the first semi final, um, you know, uh, I, I would have, as I said, watched some of those that, that game. The, the Island Harbor uh, is a massive, batted first, and they put um, the pointers out of the, you know, their comfort zone because their comfort zone is to bat first and look to restrict um, bat, batting teams uh, with their spinners. It wasn't to be. It wasn't to be today. They were asked to trace, and every time they trace, they are in problems. They are not a good chasing team. Good chasing and again, in a big semi-final uh, game today, losing the toss and losing the game. And Mentos, he's been taken to the cleaners as well. Two overs for 28. It's been... Uh, and now they're going to take him off the ball uh, and give it to Giovanni Gomes. Not, 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 a, not a very good day. Not a, a very good day for spinners at all. So Giovanni Gomes is going to bowl the final over, in fact. He's bowled three overs for nine runs. Him and uh, Joseph Gums have been uh, very good today, very economical. Akeem Sonos was taken to the cleaners as well. But it's Gums into ball to Abelavari, who's clipping it down towards the deep backward square region. Uh, they will get two. They will have to look where it's all. Uh, of uh, seven wickets still, uh, uh, you know, you, they will have to go all guns blazing. This is the last over, that's the last five balls, and they will really have to look to deposit something over the boundary. Giovanni comes into ball to Belavari. 
but the body's carving it over the offside. Well, there's a man down there at the cover boundary. And he'll come back for the second. And they're looking for a third run, and it's not going to be hard. But um, Jonathan Tyson taking a more cautious way out. Um, instead of coming and attacking the ball, he waited for the ball and, in the, and allowing for two runs. Gums into bowl to Belavari. Belavari getting this one off the bottom edge. And it creeps away towards the point region for a single. This is very good depth bowling by Giovanni Gums. Not conceding any boundaries. 131 for three. It's five runs so far from three balls. What can Masimba do in the, with three balls to go? But when he's very much across his stumps, he's going to try and heave into the leg side. It's hit high. Shaka's coming under it. Both Shaka and Daniel Durham leave it. And they will come back for two. And looking for a third runner. But I think Simba wants to strike. That's a bit of cricket there, though. From two of the senior players on the team. That's a bit of cricket there. They came together for a conversation and not to feel the ball. One run in cricket is, is, is a winning score. They ended up getting two. This one is uh, hit, hit hard down the ground right towards the long honor region. Two fielders converge. Belavari is going to come back, but Simba's going to jog back home. That's an easy two runs once again. Oh, uh, a very. It may look like a very expensive over, but it has caused him some nine runs already. Precisely. No bungies has been scored, but there have been four doubles and a single. And that's nine runs. Uh, so the delivery left. They have scored off every delivery so far in this over. Comes, bone comes well across. And he's gotten his leg stop knocked over. He has been knocked over. He falls over. That's the end of the innings. I don't know where my summer ball was going, but he went and completely left the ball. And I think he watched. He was. He would have watched a, a certain Indian player too much. Well, not well. Just one, one run, one run more than what was scored in the first semi-final. One thirty-five. Doc runs on the board. Runs on the board. One three five for four. The final score. One three five for four. You know, with the pressure of it being a semi-finals and runs on the board coming together, it can be an uphill task for the Beamers. They have really not batted well for the season, and uh, uh, they have not batted their best. But they, they will really have to pull out all the stops today and come to the party. This is their last chance. Well, Monson Hodge, the man of the moment, 75 of 63 deliveries, a brilliant innings, not much support outside of that, Danny Proctor got to 22, he saw 7 for Yusef Hodge, 15 for Belavari, and 4 for Simba, which leads to 135 for 4. And that, you know, um, with, with Monson's innings, one would wonder. You know, he, he may have taken up, uh, well, a lot, a lot of bars because that, that, that would mean that he would have faced by himself um, over uh, um, a, about, just about half of the innings, um, scoring some 70 odd. But um, one can look at it two ways. In that in a T20 game, you were are, you are hoping that uh, he would have scored a little faster. Nonetheless, had he gone um, all out attacking earlier and lost his wicket, the, the problems that could have sink, sink, um, sinking into the innings. And so, um, not a bad innings at all for Manson, Manson Hodge. And so the bowlers now would have to do the work for the reason for the, uh, the Sixers. Well, this bowling scorecard is completely all over the place. Durham bowl for over to 10 runs. An economy rate of 2.5. Joe Gums, Baba, he bought four overs. One for 12, economy rate of three. And Giovanni Gums, he bought for also 18 with one wicket. Well, then was a Mentos 
two overs of 28, the Conor McGregor 14, and Kim Salas two overs of 30, and Shaka Hodge four overs of 33. Well, the bowlers were really put to the, the sword today uh, in this uh, the second semi-final game, and uh, the. Well, there is only two bowlers really who are spared, and that is Joe Gums and Giovanni Giovanni Gums. Well, well it was a Gums and and Dorum. Well, that final delivery of the innings. Uh, Masimba going, uh, trying uh, uh, Richard Pant and got his leg stump knocked out of the ground. It's only Richard Pant we see. Uh, plays those, uh, those shots successfully, falling down and the ball disappears over the boundary for six. I don't, I'm not sure how he get the strength and the power into, into it. But one, he, three, five. One, three, five. So with 135 on the board, 135 on the board, 136 to be had, Farrington Super Sixers can be sitting one foot into the finals tomorrow, one hand on the trophy to regain it. Well, it is indeed the Razor Massive who have, who have secured their place into the semi-finals and they are waiting, they're into the finals and they are waiting to see who is going to join them. Well, we wait also to see as the Beamers will respond. In the meantime, uh, we continue to say thank you to Jerry Suda, to Mahar J. Suda. American University of Angola, Aurora Restaurant and Golf Club, and Golf Club, Najiko Insurance, Carrington Wall Green, Lynn Home, Zemi Beach Hotel, Republic Bank of Angola, King Ocean, National Commercial Bank of Angola, Sid Pete's Supermarket, Angola Electronics, Safe Cargo, Best Buy Supermarket, Best Buy in Both the East and the West. Mega Charles 54, the man who ensuring that we are live and lively on uh, the YouTube, our YouTube channel, ensuring that our visual is uh, really clear and uh, we are here, there, and everywhere. Wherever you go, you can log on to Mega Charles 54. Clean stream. I've not seen our friends for a bit, but we are grateful that they were around. Radio Angola, Class FM, Lloyd's Live. He too, we have not seen for a bit, but we are grateful that they were all here. 97.7 Radio, it's a beat. Lakes World, and Lowell Hodge. We are grateful. We are grateful. Baker Gumps, you are on board with us. And we are grateful that you all are ensuring that. APL 2022, season two, is live and lively from the Valley Angola. It is indeed a pleasure for us to be bringing you the live coverage as it unfold before our very eyes. So we are going to, in just a bit, to see the a reply, and that's, that's the reply of the BMAs search, in search of 136 for victory, search of 136 for victory. Can they get it? We wait to see. Gums with a four overs, one for 18. And very good bowling figures uh, for the Gums, uh, both Giovanni and Joseph Gums. Uh, well, is it, G, is, 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 is it has something to do with JG? It might just be. Well, well, well. As we look at who's uh, in the middle, the man Bobby Black is rolling the wicket. That has been the Greater for a number of years, ensuring that our wicket here between him and Joe Gums in the sports department. We are grateful that we have a chat to really play wonderful cricket. APL, and the organizing committee headed by Sir 
Malkin Rogers. We are grateful that they are on board to ensure that APR season two, 2022, is bigger and better. And so we are winding down. It is semi-final day. Tomorrow, finals. It is finals day indeed. It is finals day. And so we are seeing the two umpires, Umpire Lake and Umpire Lily, making their way out in the middle. And uh, batsman Akim Sanders, well, he's not waiting for his opening partner and he's not waiting for the feeling team. He is out in the middle and he's a man ready for action, ready for business, Akim Sanders. He's been the man in form for the Beamers and today he's going to really look. He is the man in, a, in form and he has been in some splendid form throughout this uh, season and we wait to see what he will be able to do today. He will have to come really and come good in order for the BMS to get anywhere close or overhaul this target of 136. So it's going to be Sanders and Lewis, Michael Lewis, the two batsmen that will start for, for BMS, two right-handed right batsmen, Michael Lewis and Akeem Sanders, Sanders, Kirishan and Lewis St. Martin. So, it's 135, 135 uh, scored by uh, the Sixers. So, 136, uh, 136 is what the Beamers would need to get into the finals along, alongside the Super Sixers. Doc, alongside the Razor Massive, sorry. Doc, prediction, are you willing to make a prediction? Who's going to get into the finals? The team that wins. Well, well, well. You are not a brave. You're not brave. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. Kelsic. I know. Kelsic is a brave man. Kelsic is a betting man. So Kelsic will tell us who's gonna win. Kelsic. <laughs> well, both cowards. Both cowards. Remember last week. This is cricket. This is, this is cricket in Anguilla. Well, I'll tell you, but I'll tell you both that cricket will win at the end of today. <laughs> this is cricket in Anguilla. Nothing is ever set in stone. Well, you both are cards. Well, we see the orange and blue and white. It is. Uh, Super Sixers so walked out into the middle and uh, taking up the attack from uh, the central polyclinic end. It's going to be Bryson. For the first time of uh, season two, we are going to see Bryson with the new ball. Well, uh, there is no Landerfoot and there is no uh, Damian Horsch today. So Marlon Bryson will have to take the new ball. So Marlon Bryson, right arm. Um, Medium fast from the central polyclinic end. We'll be bowling to Saunders. The password. Saunders, the right handed opening batsman for the Beamers. Saunders takes his guard from umpire Lily. And Bryson. A very tough, competitive. Customer. So wait. We wait to see who is going to be coming from this end, who's going to partner him. It's going to be Marlon Bryson, though, oh, from the far end. Oh, it's going to be interesting to see if they open with an all uh, pace attack. Oh, will they go to, to spin to start off with? They do have uh, Damani Hodge as well as uh, Jeff Adams on the side today. Indeed, and so it's going to be interesting, very interesting to see how they start. Well, by already Marlon Bryson, eager and ready to go. Here is Marlon Bryson to a third man, deep extra cover, backward point extra cover, mid off, mid on, mid wicket. Slip and short finally. Here is Bryson to bowl to Sanders. Sanders is pulling four runs. 
as easy as that, as easy as taking a sweet from a kid, short, a warm up delivery. Thank you, says the sun does, and he pulls it through the vacant mid wicket region for four. Well, Billy, my birthday was yesterday, and I think Akeem Swans is taking my gifts because that was a, that was a rank gift. It was short, it was not fast, and so I said thank you very much. Just pulling it over my wicket for an easy four runs. And immediately there is a change in the field. And the third man is going to go into the circle. The mid wicket is going to go out sweeping, and the slip has been removed and has one. been placed uh, at a short mid wicket after one delivery, a poor delivery, and effecting a field change immediately well, well that's the type of form Sanders is in but you, you can't sort of feel for bad bowling well you, you can you the, the feel the skipper has just done so well let's see how this holds gonna work out for him because he's just taking out the slip after one delivery. Here is Marlon Bryce. Moves away. Right arm over the wicket to bowl to Sanders. Bowl to Sanders to this delivery. Sanders is getting on top. This one making some height. Coming into the batsman, and it is going to be on. Marlon Bryson, if you know who Marlon Bryson is, he's a tough competitor. He's going to talk you and talk you and talk you out of your wicket. Well, that ball Bryson. goes into the score book. Score remains on four. Four for no loss. Here is Bryson again. Hips and jumps and runs away to bowl to Sander. Shot! And he's hit this one straight into the hands. And oh, he's dropped it. He's dropped it. He's dropped it and it goes away for four. It has gone away for four. Yusuf Hodge making an, a blunder and it can be a costly one. We wait to see how costly it can it will be. Oh, that's the wicked you wanted. You wanted Sanders. You had an opportunity in getting Sanders early. And Yusuf Hodge has spilled a sitter. Sanders goes on to eight. Here is Bryson to bowl to Sanders. Bowl to Sanders. Sanders is shot and pull. This one is to mid on. Mid on is gone. On this occasion, Sanders seemed like he had somewhere. You have somewhere to go. And three balls, three shots, and he goes. Caught. He was just dropped on the sweeper boundary. And the ball seeming to have come off the bottom of the bat, not going anywhere where he wanted. He wanted to play the shot up and over and into the hands of Daniel Proctor, who gracefully accepts. And the dangerous Sanders goes for it. It's 8 for 1 in the course of over number 1. Well, do you think Sanders wanted to go to the Valley Street Fair? I believe that he has a date down at the Valley Street Fair. Yeah, because he, he went to the wicket full speed flying and he's come back out just as fast as he's gone in. Well, we wait to see. I believe that he has a date. I de definitely believe that he has a date to uh, the Valley Street Fair. Well, it's happening right here at the JRWP with the score on 8. Sanders goes. New batsman is Brian Burton. Daniel Proctor taking an easy, easy catch to dismiss the informed Sanders. So we saw Sanders going out to the, the crease very quickly. And with the same speed that he went in, he's back in the pavilion. Well, it was indeed a poor shot. Sanders. Gone for eight. It's eight, eight for, eight for one. I don't know, maybe he has a date, Doc. I believe that Sanders has a date at the Valley uh, Street Fest. Here is Mar Marlon Bryson to the left and then the minute figure of Burton. Both to Burton. Burton is running this one down to third man. He's going to get one. They have gone for one. Looking for a second. Burton is coming back. And oh, the, Michael sends him back and says, No, where are you going, Burton? He said, where are you going, Burton? I can't get back down there. So Burton is off the mark. He's one. And the total moves on to nine. And nine for, nine for one. It brings Lewis, Michael Lewis, for the first time on strike. As is yet, yet to face the ball. Yet to face the ball, Michael Lewis. It's one to Burton. The batsman gone is... Sanders caught by Daniel Proctor off the bowling of Marlon Bryson for eight. Here is Bryson as Lewis looks around the field. Some adjustment by Massimo Boyne. And uh, there's an adjustment here to the right handed Lewis. 
the mid wicket is coming uh, into the circle, so it's going to be a short mid wicket. The two men out, the third man, and uh, deep extra cover. There is uh, a cover, extra cover, mid off, backward point, mid on, and there is again <laughs> an adjustment moving the, in the cover back into. Back into uh, a square leg. He's going to square leg. So it's a square leg, short fine leg, and mid wicket. Here is Mar Marlon Bryce to ball to Lewis. Lewis getting a short wide delivery down the leg side. And it get not cleanly taken by the keeper. And uh, wide call and signal by the umpire. So score moves on by two. It's so 11. 11 for. 11 for one, 11 for one, and it's still in the course of over number one. Seems to be a very lengthy over that. Nobody's going on forever. Two whites, two whites. But the score on 11. Here is Marlon Bryce. It's a ball to. Burton, both to Burton. Burton is getting a short one. He's looking to walk it around. Doesn't make contact. A wide call and signal by the umpire. Total moves on by 1 to 12. And next is 1 to 3. Three wides. A bit of ill discipline setting in there for Marlon Bryson. Getting the big scalp of Sanders. That's, uh, that's what Bryson does. He's concedes runs when he takes wickets yes, he takes wickets and he talks he talks a lot here is Bryson to bowl to Bolton bowl to Bolton Bolton who is back and hitting punching this one down to the man and the backward point boundary Phil sends the return the over finally coming to an end and at the end of over number one in search of 136 for victory the Beamers they are 13 for one Well, uh, at the end of one is 13 for one, and all oh, that seemed to uh, go on forever. It finally comes to an end. It came Saunders dismissed for eight of four deliveries, hit two boundaries, and then I think I think he I think he got tired of batting and he had to go. Well, the BMAs will have to rebuild here through Lewis and Burton. It's going to be Massimo Bowen. Who is going to be taking up the attack from this commentator's boot end? And I wonder why he didn't take his, his run up uh, when they went out. It's taking up time. Let me see again the replay on our screen. The first wicket, uh, poor shot. It was nothing else but a poor shot, forcing it. Uh, Sanders, forcing it. And Proctor took an absolute sitter. I'll have reprieve there for. For Yusuf Hodge. Messi Maboin is taking his run up. He will give his cap to the umpire and walk back to the top of his mark. The length wasn't right for that shot from Saunders. It was a bit too full to try and pull it over mid wicket. He should have tried to punch it really rather than trying to force it over the top. Well, I'm not sure about the, the length. What, what, what I think about it, well, if you notice that the ball, when uh, Bryson hits it, 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 he re the pitch responds. Here is Boyne's the ball to Boyne. Boyne is coming forward. What I'm pushing it in the short cover. Manson Hodge. Manson Hodge fails. No run resulting. Score remains on 13. 13 for for one over number two in progress in search of 136 for victory Masimba Boyn throws the ball from hand to hand turns at the top of his mark walks then breaks into his run passes umpire Lake ball to Borton Borton to this delivery is looking to walk this one off the pad that doesn't make contact ball coming off the pad and they're gonna go through for one leg by signal comes from the umpire now total moves on by one to 14 14 for for one extra move on by one to four one leg by three wides 14 for one over number two pointers going down to the razor massive in the first semi-final razor massive securing first final slot who will be joining them will it be the beamers will it be the defend will they defend their championship the Sixers, who's going to join them? 
we wait to see. At the end of the day, well, the fat lady has packed her bag and she's in the park already. Well, this is going to be a crack of a game. My Simba Boyne with number 22 on his back stutters and runs away to bowl to Lewis. Bowl to Lewis. Lewis is driving. Well, he's coming forward, looking to drive through the offside. And the ball coming off the in a portion of the bat and goes out to Monson Hodge Fields. No run result and score remains on 14. 14 for 1. 14 for 1. My Simba Boyne. And I've got over here. Three dot balls so far. And a run score from so we're just get, getting one leg by. Here is my Simba Boyne to bowl to Lewis. Lewis is driving. And again, Manson Hajim moves into his right and knocks it down. No run result and score remains on 14. 14 for 1. Make it gone. Uh, Saunders for, for 8. Was caught by the man Daniel Proctor. Here is Boynes, the ball to Lewis. Ball to Lewis. Lewis is beaten. Oh, that's a beautiful delivery. That's a beautiful delivery. Sanders coming forward. And when he got there, he recognized that the ball was uh, going away from him. It's a beautiful off cutter there by uh, Masimba Boynes. So the ball and going away from. Lewis beat New Orleans up and the score remains on 14. A too good a, a delivery for him to get an edge to. Yes, a change of pace to work today. Got a bit of movement as well. Completely bamboozling the batter in Michael Lewis. Here is Masimba Bowen to bowl to Lewis. Bowl to Lewis. Lewis is uh, pulling this one. And mid on is going to move to his right and feel. That's uh, Hodge, the man in Hodge. Sends the return over, come to an end. A very good one, too, from Masimbo Bowen. And at the end of over number two, the Beamer is in search of 136 for victory. They are 15, 15 for one. The not out batsman being Michael Lewis, who is on one, and Burton on two. Uh, so 15 for one after two overs. Uh, the Beamers uh, in search of 136 for victory. Uh, they have already lost the prize wicket of Akeem Saunders uh, and they will need for Dion Burton and, and uh, Michael Lewis to put on a good partnership in order to get them close to this 136 target. Right, so they will have to look to rebuild. Let's set a platform from where they can launch and get very close, if possible, to the, this 136 themselves. So 15, 15 for. 15 for 1 over number 3 about to begin from the Central Polyclinic end. Marlon Bryson in his second over. To bowl to Michael Lewis. Bowl to Lewis. Lewis is getting one that is uh, walking through short mid wicket. He gets one. Sasso is in attendance. Can't stop the single. Uh, Lewis gets his second run. Lewis is on 2. Burton is on two. The score moves on by one to 16. 16 for, for one. 16 for one. In search of 136 for victory. It's a beautiful evening out here at the James Ronald Webster Park. The Valley Angola. Spots of uh, white, uh, but it's uh, uh, primarily a blue sky we are looking at. Here is Bryce. Oh, shot and pull, pull, well, six runs. Oh, it was hit with this then. It goes out of the park. That was a tremendous shot there by uh, Burton. It was shot and pulled away. And it goes out over the, the pavilion and a wave of six over the road. Oh, well, uh, Dean Burton said, Bow that to your friends, Marlon Bryson. And today I'm not your friend. Dismissed that out of his presence. Up onto the stand, uh, up onto the roof of the western stand. And bouncing out into the road, onto the other side. Oh, well, that was a big shot by the man Dion Burton all the way for six. He's a small man, but he certainly 
packs a good punch, Dion Burton, and he is also in some good form. And uh, the Beamers, uh, he came back and he got some 30 yard, he got a, a 40 yard, but uh, since he came back from uh, the Dominic uh, uh, T20 League, where he would have captured his second most runs in that tournament, yeah. he really uh, hasn't really, you know, uh, come to life as we know Burton. But this one was a lovely shot. It was shot and pulled away, pulled away handsomely, and it went away over the the stand one bounce on the stand and it went over the road that goes away for six it's gone away and we are waiting the return of the ball we are waiting the return of the ball so play has been held up for a bit and Dion Burton a diminutive figure but that doesn't tell you the kind of punch that he packs certainly packs a really really big punch here in boxing you'll say you punch above your weight it's typical of of, of uh, his dominican battles we have here in anguilla he packs a serious punch then but they're looking for a ball uh, yeah, the ball looking is up. coming back the ball is coming back and so the game will resume in just a bit so the ball is back with us. The ball is back with us, and so play will resume. But that was a seriously good shot. Doc, again, we say thanks to our sponsors. And they are the ones who are ensuring that, uh, who have ensured that this tournament uh, was played and that those uh, in cyberspace were able to, to be a part of our commentary. And we are grateful, even for those who are here in Angola, uh, wherever they are, in their homes and by the side street, uh, in their office, wherever they are, they are keeping abreast of what is going on at the JRWP. It is 22, 22 for one. In over number three, in search of 136 for victory, the Beamers, replying to 135 scored by the, the Sixers with a top score of 72 coming from Manson Hodge. So another 114 from 106 balls. Well, almost a run a ball. Here is Marlon Bryson. Moves away to bowl to button. Bowls to button. A short delivery. This one is outside the line of the off stumps. He's run down to the third man. They've gone for one. Looking for a second. It's not on. But feeling there done there by Jeffrey Adams. Sends a return. The bowler. Fields backing up there. Was it taken by the keeper? Score moves on by one. Dion Burton moves on to nine. Brings a Lewis, a Michael Lewis, who is on two on the strike. It's 23. 23 for, for one. 113 needed at a scoring rate of, of 6.46. Here is Bryson to bowl to Lewis, passes on by a bowl to Lewis. Lewis is getting one down the leg side. Uh, did it come off the bat or the pad? We wait to see. Is there going to be a signal from the umpire? Uh, none is coming, so that was off the bat. It was heading down the leg side and uh, walked away by uh, Lewis. Lewis mo moves on to three and the total moves on to 24. 24 for one. Over number three. Over number three. It's a good over so far for the Beamers. Here is Bryson to ball to Bolton, ball to Bolton outside line of so This one is run away. Oh, it's running close to the fence. And in fact, you could give up the chase now because it has gone into the boundary. That's a lovely shot. Oh, it was caressed. Um, oh, my, my, my. Dion Bolton. That was superb touched by Burton. We have seen his strength, and now we are seeing his his finesse. What a shot, Doc. That's a shot Dean Burton plays. That's a shot Dean Burton has mastered. Just behind the point, elegantly timed, away for four. Well, the score moves on to 28. 28. Burton is on to 13. Oh, that was an elegant stroke. 
Here is Bryson again to bowl to Burton. Bowls to Burton short and he's again looking to run this one down. Getting off the under edge. No damage done. One bounce to the keeper. The over coming to an end. And at the end of over number three, it is uh, the Beamers replying to 135, 136 for victory. They are 28, 28 for one. 28 for one after three. Going at a very good rate so far, the Stony Ground Beamers in order to chase this 136 to victory. And they have really taken a liking to Marlon Bryson. They've struck him for about four boundaries so far in his two overs. A couple boundaries by Saunders and a couple boundaries by Burton. There's going to be my Simba Bowen who will continue. He's been economical in his one over so far. He's just going for one runner. He's just, he's just bowl one over and gone for one run, has Masimba Bowen. Masimba Bowen, one run from his over. It is Marlon Bryson has come in for a beating. Here is Masimba Bowen, moves away. Over number two for him, over number four to bowl to Lewis. Lewis is getting one down the left side, that's not taken. This is going to run close to the fence, it goes away, that's a wide, that's five runs. That's four wide, that's five runs. And that, it, that those are needed runs. Those are runs that uh, the Super Sixers can't afford to be given away. They definitely can't afford to be given away those types of runs there. It was down the lake side and with the pace of Masimba Bowen, it was always going to run into the boundary for four. Score race is on to 33. 33 for one. For one, over number four. Requiring another 103 from 102. Just about to run a ball, Doc. Don't want to speak too soon. The last time a team did a run a ball for victory, they lost the game. A yeah. game they had no business losing. Here is Miss Simba Boy to bowl to Michael Lewis. Michael Lewis is walking this one uh, to shot fine. They've gone for one. Looking for a second. They're going to come back for it. And a good cricket there by the Beamers. Michael Lewis. He moves on to 5, and the total moves on to 35, 35 for, for 1. Button is on 13, and the man dismiss uh, Saunders for 8. Beamers looking team that is focused. Two batsmen look very focused, look very settled at the wicket. Uh, Michael Lewis and Dion Burton. Here is Masimba Bowen to bowl to Lewis. Bowl to Lewis. Lewis is driving outside the end of them. Some short, beautiful shot, and it races across the boundary line for more. Oh, that's beautiful shot there by Lewis. And Lewis and Burton, left and right handed combination, and they are batting really, really expertly. Well, why is this the first time I've seen Michael Lewis back for the tournament? My, that was a classy shot through backward point. Just carving up in the field between the cover and the point field. That's a lovely stroke by Michael Lewis. Well, over number four. And they have raced on to 39. Oh, this is a wonderful power play for the Beamers. Wonderful power play for the Beamers. It's one of their better power play. They have lost the wicket of Saunders. But that has not deterred them at all. Here is Masimba Bowen to bowl to Lewis. Bowl to Lewis to this delivery. He's driving on the outside. That's a good looking stroke. Mid on. Moves around to his right and feel well. Can't stop the single. 40 is up. 40 it is up for one. Michael Lewis moves into double figure. He's, he's on 10. Burton is on 13. Masimba Bowen walks back to the top of his mark. With a lot going through that mine with the burden of the team and with the concern of how well these two batsmen are batting. Extra cover has gone on to, gone out onto the boundary. Final leg is coming up and third man going out. Here is Masimba Bowen to bowl to Burton. Burton taps, waits for Bowen. Bowen runs away from us here. Passes on a late ball to Burton. Burton is getting a full toss. Oh, it was a slow ball. Not clearly taken by the keeper. And they go through for a bye. That's one. Total moves on to 41. And extras move on to five. Five extras. Ten is Lewis. Thirteen is Burton. 
My list, Mrs. Saunders for eight. 41, 41 for, for one, 41 for one in the course of over number four, scoring 10 point, over 10 runs and over. Here is some Simba Boyle to bowl to Sanders. Sanders is getting a check in the shot. He's coming forward and ball was making some height. And uh, when he got there, he just suffered uh, his stop hand and allowing the ball to drop in front of him. Going out on the onside and gets one. He moves on to his 11th run and the total moves on to 42. 42 for for one. Here is Masimba Bowen to bowl to Burton. Over number four coming to an end here. Here is Bowen to Burton. Burton is going to full toss. He drives straight back to Masimba Bowen on the bounce. The over come to an end. And at the end of over number four, uh, searching of, in search of 136 for victory, they are 42 for one. 42 for one. Some 13 runs coming off that over. You have to wonder how long it will be before the spinners are introduced. They have Jeff Adams, they have Damani Hodge, and they have to use them and use them early. Well, more than that, they would want to use, uh, I think, Daniel Proctor much earlier than, uh, you know, he has been used as a depth bowler. But uh, in, in, in an all-important game like this, you will really want to use uh, Daniel Proctor much earlier, looking for the breakthrough and set Beamers in some panic. We saw in the first game that the this bowler for the, the Razor Massive in Kenroy David. He ended up bowling in the power play to try and pick up a wicket early. And the Oela of the, the Farrington Super Six is up to do the same thing. Instead, they look to go to Yusef Hodge, it looks like. Well, Yusef Hodge has been picking up a, a wicket for them. Hodge has been uh, definitely picking up a wicket for them as well. Um, and so, uh, not a bad move at all. He, I think Hodge has given up, given up, given up pace for accuracy. Definitely. Um, he Definitely. has really given up some pace for accuracy. He is much, uh, much more accurate lately. Uh, has given up some pace. Uh, but uh, what the Super Sixers will want is wickets. They will want wickets. Here is Hodge from the Central Polyclinic end to bowl to Lewis. Lewis is flat batting that one. One bounce. Oh, that one was close. Very close uh, to Manson Hodge. Just about a meter in front of Munson Hodge. That could have spelled trouble. It was slower than he anticipated. He was well through the shot before the ball had arrived. And uh, in the end, he popped it up in the air, but it bounced short of Munson. Here is Isaac Hodge. The ball to Lewis. So he about to run. Dead ball says the umpire. Score remains on a 42. 42 for one. In the course of over number five, being bowled by Yusuf Hodge from the Central Polyclinic end. It's a beautiful day here in Angola for cricket. Here is Yusuf Hodge to bowl to Michael Lewis. Lewis is getting one off the inside. That one would pass through a baton pad uh, between bat and the leg. Some did that touch anything? Was that? Oh, oh, boys. Oh, that was a good delivery by uh, Hodge. Missing everything. So, one by, one by. Total moves on to 43. 43. 43 for one. 43 for one. In the course of, in the course of over number five, it is a change of feel. Discussion going on out there. Skipper for Super Sixers is showing that all stops are pulled out, and there is nothing, no stones left unturned. Here is Yusuf Hodge, right arm over the wicket to bowl to the left handed Burton. Dion Burton, the wicket keeper batsman, is moving the mid wicket to. This ball is a uh, square leg. Square. Yes, he has gone to square leg on the boundary. Here is Isef Hodge to bowl to Burton. Bowl to Burton. Burton is uh, touching it through to the man there and the cover point here. And that's Sasso. Can't stop the single. Burton gets his 14th run and brings Lewis, who is on 11 on strike. And the total has moved on to 44. 44 for. 
for one. 44 for one in over number five. Being bowled by Yusuf Hodge from the Central Polyclinic end. Yusuf Hodge runs away. Passes on by a lady to bowl to Lewis. Lewis is driving. Oh, it was look and all oh, misfield there by Mal and Bryce. They've gone for one. We'll come back for a second. The ball doesn't go into the boundary. Uh, some pace was still now off of it by Bryson, not feel it cleanly, and Lewis gets two. He goes on to 13, and the total moves on to 46. 46 for one. Not good feeling there by Bryson at all. Yes, Bryson, uh, I think he got his hands down a bit too early and lifted them up too early. So it came, it made, ball made contact with his fingers, uh, and they took pace off of it. Here is Hodge to bowl to Lewis. It's in the air. There is a no man there at mid-wicket. The man from square leg has to go around and he's not going to get it. The only thing that he will do is to fetch it out from over the boundary rope. And it's four more runs to Lewis. He moves on to 17 and the total on to 50. So the 50 has been raised. 50 has been raised. 17 is Lewis. Burton is on 14. And... There is a massive. This is a strong ret uh, uh, reply, Doc. Was well, the first time I'm seeing Michael Lewis bat. He looks a very good batsman. Lewis stops away, waits for Hodge. Hodge he's driving this one. It's in the air. Masin Babu and takes the catch. <laughs> Lewis goes. Yusuf Hodge, the golden arm, has done it again. Commentators curse. Yeah, Commentators curse. I just said he was looking a very good batsman and he's giving his wicket away. Michael Lewis has to go caught by Masimba Bowen for 17. It's 50 for 2. Well, that's what happened when uh, commentators like you open your mouth. <laughs> Always blight uh, a batsman. <laughs> oh. Well, well, well. Michael Lewis goes, Michael Lewis, and it happens in every, every time a commentator uh, lifts up a, a, a player. Praise, uh, the, the, every just... time you praise a player, downfall. Well, Lewis goes for 17. It was a good innings while it lasted. Michael Lewis goes, caught by Masimba Boy in bowl by Yusuf Hodge, and he's going to be replaced by the man, Damian Williams. Gonna be Damian Williams who's coming into the middle. Williams, he's not had the best time uh, as thus far in the tournament, but he'll uh, look to continue this high scoring rate. Well, Lewis goes, so two opening batsmen for the Beamers are back in the hutch. 17 to Lewis and 8 to Saunders. Yusuf Hodge. The man doing the damage there for breaking the partnership for the Sixers. And they say welcome to the man Tony Fleming. Good afternoon, Millington. Good afternoon to the listening public. Really good game we have going here. The Beamers, they are off to a flyer in getting these 100 and 37 runs. Yes. Well, uh, at the end of over number five, at the end of over number five, it is 50 for two. 50, 50 for two. In search of 136 for victory. And uh, uh, final over of the power play, and uh, the, we are seeing the introduction of Jeffrey Adams, the off spinner from this the commentator's booth. And I know we have seen, we know what kind of web he can spin. And my uh, Damien Williams will be doing battle for the Beamers with 86 to get 86 from 90 balls. 86 from 90 balls. It is the it's a Beamer's game to lose from here on in Tony. With some 86, 
balls to balls more than runs to play with. 86 to get from 90 at a scoring rate of 5.73. Yes, and certainly, certainly gettable if they are able to maintain uh, the... Here is Adams to bowl to Williams. Bowl to Williams. Williams is looking to make room, but he's unable to get more than an on the edge to that one. Let's back down the track, Jeffrey. Adams field, no run resulting. Score remains on 50. 50 for two over number six. The final over of the power play in progress. Here is Jeffrey Adams to bowl to Damian Lewis. Bowl to Damian Williams, sorry. Leaving alone this one outside the line of the off stump. Looking to rebel. Yeah. And get his eye in. Here is. Adams to Williams getting this one on the onside, walking it down to Hodge at mid on, gets one, he's off the mark, Williams, he's on one, brings Broughton, he's on 14 on strike, total moves on to 51, 51 for two, 51 for two, over number six in progress. And Jeffrey Adams making some adjustment to the man on the Sweeper boundary on the on side, mid wicket, bringing him from forward square to mid wicket. Here is Jeffrey Adams to bowl to Dean Button. Dean Button is coming forward and kills it in front of him. No run resulting. Score remains on 51. 51 for, for two. Two aggressive opening batsmen. Back in the hutch. Here is Williams. Here is Dean Button chipping and then he gets there. He's forward and kills it. Jeffrey Adams feels that ball goes into the scorer's book. Five deliveries and one run so far. Yes, certainly. Uh, Jeffrey Adams has looked good. Nice loop. Here is Adams. The ball to Bolton. Goes to Bolton. Bolton is getting a short one. He's turned on the onset. Gonna get one. That's the end of over number six. That's the end of the power play. And at the end of over number six, the Beamers, in search of 136 for victory, they are 52. 52 for two. Uh, Williams is on one. Bolton is on 14. Mendes Smith Lewis for 17. And Saunders for eight, Tony. Yes, yeah, certainly. And uh, the. Uh, the Farrington Super Sixers could feel good about uh, that first over from Jeffrey Adams. He really uh, gave the ball nice flight, nice loop, and, uh, and maintained a good length in line. The batters uh, were circumspect, not able to get him away. And uh, that over has at least um, dropped the scoring rate somewhat, even though the Beamers, they have, you know, gone off to a good start, uh, set a good platform, and if they can maintain the wicket, the batsmen, the, the batter of their button, they'll be in good stead for this chase, Millie. Indeed. It's going to be Yusuf Hodge to continue from the Central Polyclinic end. He will be bowling to Dean Burton. Feel now can be spread. And now we are seeing that the long off, the mid-off, well, he's go he was going back then. The skipper decided, no, I will go back. So the long on, there's a long on, and that's the extra man that is out. Here is Yusuf Hatch to bowl to Bolton. Bolton is looking to drive ball off the edge. Good field, stop there by the keeper. Young wicked keeper. No run resulting. Score remains on. 52, 52 for two. 52 for two. Over number seven in progress. Oh, and the man, short turn man has been asked to go back on the third man boundary. Here is Yusuf Hodge to bowl to. Burton. Burton is advancing and getting it off the edge. And it goes down to third man. They've gone for one. That's all they're going to get. Burton moves on by one to 16. Don't need to be rushed at all. Don't need to be rushed, Burton. He can take his time and bat. Score moves on by one to 53. Need to keep a level ahead, Tony. 
certainly needs to stay there if they really are going to get close in overhauling these runs he will have to be there almost at the end if not at the end if they're in with a chance here is Hodge to bowl to Williams bowl to Williams Williams is pushing this one straight to the man at cover point no run resulting score remains on 53 53 for two in the seventh over Williams is on one Burton is on 16 136 is the target. Here is Yusuf Hodge to bowl to Williams. Bowl to Williams. Williams is driving this one. Oh, Manson Hodge gets a bad bounce. And they're going to go for just one run. That one was Jeffer. Manson Hodge there getting uh, uncomfortable bounce. And ball beating him and going down to the man on the long run. Coming around from long on whitish long off rather that was williams long off gets one total moves on to 54. williams is on to two williams on to from five balls Dion run a ball 16. button taps away waits for yusuf hodge when Hodge gets here, gets a short one and looking to ride that one coming off the under on the edge. It struggles out to Sasso. No run resulting. Score remains on 54. 54. And immediately with the loss of Lewis. And the scoring rate has been put in check, Tony. Yes, has been put in check. And uh, uh, just as the, at the end of this over. Yusuf Hodge to bowl to Bolton. Bolton is on this one on the onside. He's going to get one. And uh, Sean Midwick can't stop the single. Bolton moves on to 17. And over number 7 com com comes to an end. 17 is Bolton. 2 is Williams. And the total at the end of over number 7 is 55. 55 for 2. Yes, and as I was there mentioning, um, merely with the loss of Lewis, and that over from Jeffrey Adams at the end of six overs the 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 Farrington Super Sixers were 26 without loss at the end of six overs the Beamers they were they are 52 they were 52 for two and at the end of seven the Farrington Super Sixers they were 41 so that that uh, solitary over that Jeffrey Adams has bowled uh, so far at his start has really picked the scoring back uh, quite a bit but what Burton will need to do is not to get too pressured and not to get too bothered with the lack of scoring at this particular point because uh, some at some point in, in, in the innings um, he's he's going to get some free balls to hit as well well in order to get free balls he will have to stay at the wicket exactly it's a 55 a 55 at the end of over number seven 55 for two in search of 136 requiring another 81 runs from 78 balls and a run rate at a 6.23 runs and over not out of the region in today's t20 it is that's a walk walk in the park tony yes and uh, this game is moving very swiftly mainly it's going to be jeffrey adams to continue he's going to be bowling to button short and playing it to short third gets one total moves on to 56 56 for for two 56 for two in the course of over number eight button is on 18 and brings Williams, brings Williams on strike. 56 for two. And we wait to see where they are going to be at the halfway mark. And that is going to be interesting at the halfway mark uh, as they reassess and see where they are going. Here is Jeffrey Adams to bowl to Williams. Bowl to Williams. Williams is walking this one off the pad to the left of a short find and gets one. Hodge is there, Fields, score moves on by 1 to 57, 57, Williams is on 3, 
Williams is on three. 18 is Burton. It's 57. 57 for 57 for two. It's Jeffrey Adams to Burton. Burton is advancing and driving down to mid off Hodgefields and stop Burton from getting his 19th run. And the Beamers from moving on to 58. 58 for two. Williams is on three. Burton is on 19. Here is Jeffrey Adams to bowl to Williams. Shot! And oh, axe to be hit. And Williams was looking to how hard he can cut the tree and uh, not the effectiveness of the cutlass. <laughs> well, the machete yeah. didn't work on that occasion at all. I mean, if it's dull or something. <laughs> Here is Jeffrey Adams to, low, to Williams. Williams is walking this one on the onside. They're going to go through for a quick single. This could be danger. And a direct hit was needed. And Jeffrey Adams could not get back. Manzanach could not hit the stump direct. And it allowed Williams to get his fourth run. Yes, and Jeffrey Adams is really just keeping it right on point. Nice flight, tempting. Here is Adams to Burton. Both to Burton who is advancing. When he gets there, bat and pad close together at the end of the over. And at the end of over number eight, it is the Beamers in search of 136 for victory. They are 59 for two. 59 for two with that uh, over there by Jeffrey Adams. Um, he has bowled uh, two overs and has only allowed six runs. And really good going there. Uh, from Adams really pegging back the uh, these batters here, especially that of Burton. Burton has to really look good, but play some um, really some sh shots, uh, Millie. And but he will certainly need to stick this period out because he will want to stay there as long as possible. Yes, Millie, this middle period is going to be essential for the Beamers and for Burton to stay and bat and to guide them to this to the target. It's going to be Yusuf Hodge in his third over to bowl to Damien Lewis. Damien Williams. I'm not sure. Lewis has gone. It's Michael Lewis. So here is Hodge to bowl to Williams. Did that take an under edge? They've gone for one. That's all they're going to get. They're going to come back for a second run. They're going to come back for a second run. And they get two, and it is runs. So off the inside edge, could have easily gone back onto his thumbs. Williams move on to six, and the total moves on to 61. 61 for two. Over number nine in progress. 75 needed from 71. Here is Hodge to bowl to Williams. Williams is... Looking to steer this one past backward point, but gets too much of the bat on it. He goes on straight to Monson Hodge at short extra cover. No run result and score remains on 61. 61 for 2. Here is Yusuf Hodge to bowl to Williams. Williams is getting a short wide delivery. Call and signal by the umpire. Wides move on by one to four, and the total moves on to 62. 62 for, for two. In the course of over number nine, Williams is on six. Burton is on 19 from 21. Here is Hodge to bowl to Williams. Bowl to Williams. Williams is driving, getting this one to backward for the right of backward point who feels well. Really accommodative bounce. Feels well is the man Travis there. No run resulting. Score remains on 62. 62 for, for two. Losing their two opening, opening batter. Here is Yusuf Arch. The ball to Williams. Williams is looking to walk this one off the pad. Pass a short mid wicket, but he can't get past Bryson. Score remains on the 62. Who is going to be matching up with the Razor Massive? The Razor Massive with. One hand on the trophy, and their final place cemented. Here is Hodge 
And this one is driven, driving wild. This is going to be run. They've gone for one, looking for a second. They will come back for it. Proctor has to move to make ground to his uh, right. That's so well. I to deep extra cover. Two runs to Williams. Moves on to eight, and the total moves on to 64. 64 for, for two. Williams is on eight. Here is Hodge to bowl to Williams to this delivery. Williams is getting one that is pushing to the right of backward point. Moves wrong to his right. The man there, uh, wire fields. The end of the over. Who can't stop the single. Total at the end of over number nine is 65. 65 for two. Williams is on nine. Burton is on 19. And the Beamers are in search of 136 to get into the, the finals. Yes. Um, looking to getting to the finals, the Beamers. And uh, at uh, the end of nine, they are 65. So still some ways to go uh, with 11 overs uh, more to get uh, those runs and at the moment uh, there's a little consolidatory period here uh, to some good tight bowling uh, that from uh, both Hodge and Adams um, Adams will continue from uh, commentary for end here the pavilion in and he'll certainly look looking to continue uh, just bowling some two overs for some six runs, Millie. Yes, we're bowling so far from Jeffrey Adams. We're bowling from Jeffrey Adams. It's going to be Damien Williams. Taps away. Wait for Jeffrey Adams to this delivery. Adams is dropping this one short. Pull, pull well, but straight to the man at mid wicket. Proctor. Well, that was a short ball. He was asking to be hit, but Williams just imagining him pulling straight to the man at mid wicket on the bungs. He moves on to 10. Total moves on to 66. 66 it is. Another 70 runs required for victory. 70 required for victory. Here is. Jeffrey Adams to Burton. Burton is hitting this one in the air. He's going to get a run. Down to deep extra cover. Burton gets his 20th run. And the Beamers gets their 67th run. Burton is on 20. 10 is Williams. 67 is 67 for 2. In the course of over number 10. The halfway mark. Jeffrey Adams moves away past Zumpire Lake. Ball to Lewis. Williams. Williams is pulling, pulling well, pulling for six. <laughs> Wonderful shot. It was short. And on this occasion, he rocked back and he pulled it over midway, over the head of Daniel Proctor and into the pavilion who had to scatter. The person had to scatter there. It goes away for six. Lovely shot there by Williams. Yes, it was there asking to be hit and he. Uh, Julia Blige uh, there and almost taking uh, taking some of the spectators uh, with him as well. They really had to get out of the way because that ball did um, travel to the stands very quickly. So Adams will have to regroup again. A big man, a big shot. Here is Adams to bowl to Williams. Williams is turning this one to short fine leg. He gets his 17th run, Damien Williams. 17 is Williams. 20 is uh, Burton. And the score moves on to 74. 74 for two in over number 10. 62 from 62. I run a ball. Six runs and over. Oh, we are in good stead here. Here is a ball. Flighted, driven by Burton. Down to long on. My Simba Boyin is in attendance. They get one. The total moves on to. Total moves on to 60. To 76, rather. 76 the score. 75 the score tells me. 75 corrected there by Duck. Another short ball pull straight to mid long on. That's Damian Hodge, uh, the Manny Hodge in attendance. Williams goes on to 18. The end of over number 10. And at the end, the halfway mark, 
It is 76, 76 for two, Tony. Yes, uh, Jeffrey Adams there. Maybe just uh, losing his bearings there just a bit after having bowled two overs for six runs. 76. Uh, this time went uh, to went for uh, some uh, 11 runs in uh, that uh, over penultimate uh, over of his allotment and uh, giving the Beamers a uh, total of 76 at the halfway stage for two uh, when the Farrington superstars batted uh, they were 62 for one so some 11 runs ahead uh, the Beamers and they're certainly looking to press the advantage home the Farrington on the other hand they will have other ideas probably would definitely need to regroup and re strategize as to how they can pry out one of these to batter batters here more so they want the, the likes of uh, Burton so to speak but if you have Williams and Burton who are scoring and running in be between the wickets very well you could spell some trouble for the Beamers Millie yes. well Tony from here on in it is Beamers game to lose a runner ball, no devils in the wicket, eight wickets in hand. It is a Beamer's game to lose. The Super Sixers, we know that they, they have a fighting spirit. We know uh, that, uh, and we have seen their fighting spirits before. And uh, they, they are a team who knows how to win. They are indeed the, champ the season one champions, and so they know how to win. But it's all to play for. It's an even Stephen game right now. Yes, and certainly uh, with the some of the wise heads and both both camps has got good strategizers and wise um, personnel within their camp. Certainly, sure we see a conference there between the captain and Shaka Hodge, uh, who is standing in at the moment. I'm certainly sure that he is saying to both Williams and uh, Burton to just uh, keep going just keep it uh, uh, ticking over uh, you are doing a good job you don't want to lose any more wickets whereas in the uh, Farrington Super Sixers scam that is they probably would be saying um, I think we need to uh, squeeze some more life out of these uh, batters here for the Beamers we don't want to get too complacent and allow them to at least score too freely score too quickly um, I'm certainly sure that that is something that they will discuss as well. They might look to see the likes of maybe uh, Danny Proctor coming on. He's been one of those players who has been integral in picking up wickets at a uh, perfect opportune time for the Farrington Super Sixers. I'm certainly sure that today will be no different playing for a spot in the final to face the Razor Massive uh, Millie. Yes. One, one thing I, I can say is that the Super Sixers will miss the like of uh, Terry Adams. He's, uh, you know, his cool, calm, collective head out there in the middle at this time. They will definitely be missing the likes of Terry Adams and what he brings to the table. But with the likes of Monson Hodge, well, that's a strategic timeout. The likes of Charlie Hodge um, going out there and... Uh, conveying what the expectation of the team, uh, one with uh, hope that uh, we'll see a really, really good finish. Either way, however it goes from here on in, a really good finish. Yes, um, we saw where the Razor Massive would have made light work of uh, the blowing point pointers. Um, after having seen the pointers really played a good preliminary um, round leading up to the semi-finals didn't show up to the party today and um, actually didn't win the toss and they probably would have lost the match there because we have seen where they have not been good chasers of runs at all they defend very well and they was found wanting here and they, given they raised the massive who was actually the third team in last year's competition beating that said pointers team uh, they have gone all the way to uh, the finals to play for uh, the trophy well, kudos to the Razor Massive 
you know, you would have heard some really negative talks uh, against the Red it was a massive earlier in this season. But uh, they have shown up uh, uh, in big times. And they're, they're big players, the, the, the likes of uh, um, uh, uh, Shaw and Peters. And... Uh, uh, have showed up and the likes of Jacob Pauls coming back and really played a, a superb hand today, uh, putting on some 50 with uh, with Burton. Well, resumption. It's going to be uh, Yusuf Hodge with his final over to bowl to uh, to Williams. Williams is driving, driving down to a long off. Masimba Bones comes off at the boundary field. Can't stop Williams from getting his 19th run. And the total from going on to six, some 77. 77 for two. Williams is on 19. 20 is Burton. 77 for two. In search of 136 for victory. Twenty-one is Burton. Is the score. Here is one uh, outside the line of the Austin and driven down to a long off. They've gone for one. That's all you're going to be. Burton gets his 22nd run. Burton is on 22. 78. 78 for, for two. 78 for two. Here is Hodge to bowl to Williams, bowl to Williams to this delivery. He's coming forward and gets in this one on the on side. Forward of square. Sasso is in attendance. Fields, Williams on to 20. And the total moves on to 79. Yusuf Hodge again. Yusuf Hodge Ta runs away. To bowl to Burton, bowl to Burton. Burton is walking this one on the on side. It. They are asking for two. They have gone for one. We'll come back for a second. And they will get it very easily, too. Well, not cleanly taken by the keeper. They could get three. They can't get a third one, and they're going to get it. Poor walk by the keeper. And even poor walk done by Sasso backing up. And they get three. Oh, three, two. Burton. Button gets three. He moves to 25. And the total moves on to 82. 82 for two. Poor bit of cricket there from the Sixers. Here is Yusef Hatch. The ball to Williams. Williams is driving, driving crisply. Down to long off. Gets one. Bowens. That's the feeling. 83. 83. Williams moves on to 21. 25 is Dion Burton. It's 83 for two in search of 136 for victory. Another 53 runs from 55 balls. Less than a run a ball. Here is Yusuf Hodge to bowl to Dion Burton. And he has run. What is, what is. Um... Dead ball signal by the umpire. Kept the pressure on uh, the Super Sixers is the running in between the wickets. As here is Yusuf Hatch, the ball to Burton, ball to Burton, Burton is driving off the two of the bats. They're going to get one. And they, they could have put some pressure there on Bryson. They chose not to do so. And uh, Burton gets his 26th run. The over coming to an end, over number 11 coming to an end. And at the end of 11, it is the Beamers in search of 136 for victory. They are 84, 84 for two, with uh, the narrow batsman being Burton uh, on 26 and Dion Williams on 21. So they continue to keep the scoring um, scoreboard ticking over, uh, picking up the ones and uh, forcing the twos as well. Uh, not a lot of boundaries being scored, but uh, the scoring rate has is just um, motoring along nicely uh, for the uh, the Beamers, the Farrington Super Sixers. On the other hand, they will have to figure out some way of how to stem 
the flow of runs, the singles and the twos that uh, they had between these two batters here in Williams and Burton. And as you can see, Burton is in a no-nonsense mood. He looks very businesslike in scoring and running in between the wickets and so really causing some uh, problems to the Farrington Super Sixers. Uh, they have gone to the services of Danny Proctor to see whether or not they can break this partnership. Indeed, and what a time for Daniel Proctor to be coming to Sir Bowl. Well, it, it is a time when the game is at a stage that you don't have to take on Proctor. A runner ball is all they need. And so you can do without going all out against Proctor. This one is driving a uh, button down to man coming off the extra cover boundary is Hodge. Burton scores his 27th run and the total moves on to 85, 85. Mm. Maybe that's I think what I think what should have been, uh, had it, had it been in the, in the middle, I, I would have uh, asked Proctor to bowl much earlier and then put the pressure on the beamers in the back end. And that's why Doc was saying here to the next of me here, uh, it's, it's a little too late. Absolutely no pressure on the batsman. You don't have to go at Proctor. You can take three runs off Proctor and make up from the other end. Proctor. There is, who else are you going to bring on? Well, well, well. It is Daniel Proctor. To bowl to Williams is short and he's pulling. Oh, could have hit that one anyway. Hit it straight to the man at short mid wicket. On the bounce though, 85 for 2. 85 for 2. It is the pressure of the semi finals. The thought of the semi final of the finals. Here is Proctor. To bowl to bowl to Williams. Williams is coming forward and stylishly saying, Proctor, it is all day I have to bat. I have all day to bat. Well, we have seen where some batters have really given their hand away. We will see whether the minds of these two batters in Burton and Williams said, well, we're not giving it away at all this today. Here is Proctor to bowl to Williams. Bowl to Williams. Williams is going back to a ball that is uh, keeping a bit low. Even um, on a, a wicket that has life, Daniel Proctor skids it and keeps low. Daniel Proctor, really a depth bowler, has been that for, for ages again for Angola. He's doing that for the Super Sixers. He's asking Masimba Bowen to come short, uh, three quarter. Uh, halfway off the boundary. Give yourself some room off the boundary. Here is Proctor. To bowl to Williams. Looking around, ensuring that his feelers are where he wants them. Proctor to bowl to Williams. A slow ball. Drive, drives well. Down to long, uh, to long on. They've gone for one. That's all they're going to get. Masimba Bowen moving very smartly to his left. Sends the return. Williams on to... 22 on the total on to 86 for 2. 86 for 2 in the course of over number 12. One ball remaining in is the 12th over. Daniel Proctor. Sets his field. Burton, the standing captain, taps away. Waits for Proctor for, uh, uh, when he gets there. He turns it on the onside. They've gone for one. Looking for a second. It's not there. End of over number 12. And at the end of the over, Dion Burton is on 28. With him, his partner, uh, Damian Williams, he is on a 22. And it's 87. 87 for... 87 for two in search of 136 for victory. And it's like you say, and it's like you say, uh, it's like you said, um, Millie, that there's no way that the Beamers should allow themselves not to get as close to this total as much as possible. But the, um, as we know, cricket is a game of glorious uncertainties. We have seen uh, the ebbs and flows of this uh, uh, really precious, blessed game. Um, through the tallies locally, both locally and internationally. And I'm certainly sure that we're in for a really grand finish here uh, this afternoon. And I, I think the, 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 the Super Sixers has really missed the trick and, and they are going to be bringing on the off-spinner of uh, Damani Hodge. 
the Mani Hodge. Uh, and this, uh, I think, is very late in the in the innings. I think it's it's way too late in the innings. And uh, well, I believe Skipper Masimba Boyne knows just what he's doing. And we are just commentators, and we are giving opinions. He knows exactly what he's doing. The man he had right arm around the wicket to Burton, to the left-handed batter, Dion Burton, to a short. Backward square leg, man on square leg, on the boundary. Mid wicket, short mid wicket that is. Mid on, long off. Extra cover, cover. Third man and man sweeping and the deep extra cover boundary. That is going to change now as we are seeing a short mid wicket and a deep mid wicket. Here is. Burton chipping and driving, driving down too long off. They've gone for one. That's all they're going to be. Uh, Bryson runs off the boundary and sends the return. Burton gets one. He moves on to 29. And the total moves on to 88. 88 for two. In the course of over number 13, Williams is on 22. Burton on 29. Field changes over to accommodate the right-handed Damien Williams. Williams taps away, waits for uh, Hodge. Not sure why he's allowed to bowl in white sleeves. Well, the batsman, I, I'm not sure why he's allowed to bowl in white sleeves. He bowls a white ball with a white sleeve. Well, the batsman, I believe the batsman has very good eyes. Here is Hodge. Shot and bang the... Oh, you could have hit that anywhere. He hit it to the man at deep extra cover boundary. Had time. It was slow. It was short. Score moves on by one. 23 is Williams. The total moves on to 89. 89. 89 for two. 47. 47 required from 45. Here is... Hard shot and pull. It's in the air. Going down to the man. And Proctor jumps and finds it is too high for him. And into the square leg bungle for six. It goes away for six. 95 and 95. The score race is on. Burton is on to 35. And it's 95. 95. For two, here is Hodge again to bowl to Burton. Bowl to Burton, shot again! And this one is on the ground to the right of Proctor. Proctor moves around smartly, sends the return, gets one. Score moves on to 96. 36 is Burton. Wicked keeper batsman, diminutive figure. Dion Burton brings Williams, who is on 23 on the strike. Here is Hodge. Coming right arm over the wicket to the right-handed batsman, Damian Williams. Ball to Williams. Williams is getting one shot outside the half stump. Driving, diving. Uh, Hodge coming there. Can't take the, take the catch. And the ball is going to go down to long half. Two runs to Williams. And the total moves on to 98. 98 at the end of over number 12. At number 13, sorry, at the end of over number 13, it is 98. 98 for two. Williams is on 25. With him is Burton. He's on 36. And uh, replying to 136. Looking for 136 for victory. They are 98 for two. Yes, certainly. And they're motoring along nicely uh, here. And having the Farrington Super Sixers in a spot of bother. And uh, we see here we are. That's look like Monson Hodge and the captain in Masimba Boyne coming to a uh, conference as well as uh, maybe a, just a little bit of refreshment there for the batters, uh, in particular Williams, uh, because they've really um, played very well here this afternoon. These two batters for the 
uh, beamers and really looking to push themselves into the finals like last year remember these two teams met in the finals last year with the Farrington Super Sixers um, crowning champion uh, this year they're saying to themselves the beamers well we're going to do a number on you and we are going to knock you out Millie <laughs> Uh, over number 14 about to begin from this uh, commentator's boot end with 38 required from 42 beamers in the driver's seat one will say here is daniel proctor moves away to bowl two button button is driving there are runs to be had here they have gone for one will come back for a second no will not come back for a second run button moves on by one he is on the 37 and the total moves on to 99, 37. The countdown has begun. 37 from 41. 37 from 41. That's the equation, a very simple equation. A walk in the park equation. But cricket, a game of glorious uncertainty. Here is Proctor to bowl to Williams. Williams is driving, pushing this one. A full delivery. Pushing it straight down to uh, long on the, the man, I'm a Simba boy in field. Can't stop Williams uh, from getting his 26th run. And the 100 has been raised. The 100 has been raised. 36. 36. The 50 partnership between these two battles as well, Millie. And 50 has been raised as well. 50 partnership and 100 has been raised. Here is Proctor to bowl to Borton. Borton is uh, coming down, using his feet to, to Proctor and driving it to, mid, to long off. Again, one run. He moves on to 38. 38. 101. We are into over a number... 14, over number 14 being bowled by Daniel Proctor. All day to bat. A year and a half to bat. Here is Proctor to bowl to Williams. Williams is getting one shot and he's hitting it to pass the man at a, a cover. You get one. Well, it seems like there, is, there are more spectators on the field than, that, than those on, uh, on the outskirts. Very poor bit of work done there. 102, 102, 102, Williams is on to 27, brings Dion Burton, who is on 38 in strike, here is one that is hitting it in the air, can anyone get there, no, they're going to feel it, it's uh, Masimba Boyne, who makes, oh, does go well, does well, oh, brilliant work there by Masimba Boyne, to get that one back in, and he can't stop, two runs, 40, 40 to Burton and 104 is the total. Oh, 32, 32 from 37. 32 from 37. That's the equation. Here is Proctor to bowl to Burton. Bowls to Burton. Burton is driving again. He's going to get another one. Masimba Boyne is kept busy. When it's not straight, then it's to his left or to his right. End of over number 14. It is 105, 105 for two with uh, Burton. He is on 41 and uh, his partner Williams on 47 and 27. Yes, these uh, uh, two batters here for the Beamers, they've really um, kept uh, their team in this game, batting sensibly and uh, uh, not hitting a lot of boundary balls, but they're certainly picking up the singles and uh, they will win easily if they continue to do so. Uh, these two batters here in Burton and Williams scoring better than a run of a run a ball here. Some 55 runs partnership of 54 balls, just what uh, the Beamers would have ordered in, in, in order to really get to the target of 136 for victory. They are well on their way and if they can keep their heads Millington um, we, they will be the ones um, shouting this at. Even. Yes. Will there be an upset? Here is Damian Hodge to bowl the, the, the Manny Hodge to bowl to Burton. Burton is lapping this one, lapping this one. Runs here. they have gone for one. We'll come back for a second. They are going to come back for a third run. They will come back for a, th a third run. Well played. And uh, Williams. 
will not go back for that fourth. Burton was ready to come back for the fourth. Three more runs to Burton. He moves on to 44. Burton is on to 44. The total goes on to 108. He, oh, what a time to score half century. What a time to come to walk with your bat. Standing captain in a semi final game. Here is. Here is Hodge. Here is Hodge. Wait, the field has been changed, changed over. So a right-handed batter to accommodate the right-handed uh, batter in Williams, who is on 27. I bet Williams is winded. Well, he certainly will be winded. Here mm -hmm. is Hodge. The ball to Williams. Shot! And pull, pull well. This could go close to the fence. Ball and Rice is coming around. Will not stop that. That goes away for four. A brilliant shot. And when you're tired, what do you do? Hit the ball for four. Oh, wow. You're the inching ever so closer. 112. 112 the Beamers. Look, Williams has moved on to 31. And the total, and we, and the total two. 112, yes, 112. His not out. Partner is Burton, who is on 44. Yes, and a really good partnership as they try to separate themselves in the amount of balls as compared to runs. And 24 from 34. Will it be a Beamers race the massive finals? Here is Hodge, the ball to William, short, and he's hitting this one, on the bounce again, this is going to go close to the fence, but Simba Boone is doing some good work, but not good work enough, four more to Williams, he seemed to be favoring the hamstring, but that goes away for four more, and he has raced to 35, and the total to 116, 116, and there is, and there is a massive can see next to them, oh, the Beamers. Well, Williams is. It is not over there. It is not over. 20 to be had. 33 balls. The fat lady, she says, I'm not un unpacking today. There is absolutely no need for me to unpack my back today. It is too easy for the Beamers. Boeing's missing a trick. Missing a trick big time. Not bringing on Proctor Orley. Here is Hodge. Shot again and banged away again to the right of Proctor out there. Deep extra cover who feels Williams scores his 36 run. And the total move on to 117. 117 it is. 117 for two in search of 136 for victory. Requiring another 19 runs. 19 runs. From 32 deliveries. It's all beamers to lose. Here is Hodge. The ball to Burton. Both to Burton. The shot. And he's walking this one off the pad. No saves, Burton. No run there. Williams is in pain. He has, he's been carrying an, in, an injury from about the second game. Uh, Williams. But determined as he is. Williams has gone out there and he has battled well for the Beamers. And in this, a big semi-final game, he is doing a superb job for his team. And at the end of over number 15, with Beamers in search of 136 for victory, they are 117 for two. Yes, uh, really um, batted well is Williams there. And... Um, he and Burton has really came together and they really pushed the, uh, the Beamers close to their target, just needing some 19 runs to victory with uh, some five overs to spare and uh, really on the course to um, their spot and their place in their finals. On the other hand, the Farrington Super Sixers, they're still fighting, still trying to strategize. As you hear, heard my commentator says, Millie uh, might be saying that um, I might just be missing a, a few tricks early on. One, one, it's, 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 uh, it's, um Here is Proctor to bowl to Williams. Williams is driving oh, down the ground. They've gone for one. That's all they're going to be. 118. 118. Williams on to 37. 100 and 
118. 118 brings Burton, who is on 44. Brings Burton on 44 on strike. Burton taps away. Wait for Proctor. Proctor balls and he's getting one that is outside the line of the off. So I'm looking to stay that one. Doesn't make contact. Goes to be taken by the keeper. Score remains on 118. 118 for two. In the course of over number 16 being ball. By Daniel Proctor from this commentator's boot end. Proctor as he does when he gets the ball, put the pressure on, but not today. Here is Proctor to bowl to Burton. Burton is working this one off the pad. You're going to get one. Burton inches even closer to his half century. He's on 45. And the total moves on to 119. 119 it is. 17. 17 from 27. 119 it is. Daniel Proctor. Bowls to Williams. To this delivery, Williams is. Getting one outside the line of the off stump. Slow ball. Not making contact. Looking to the umpire for a wide. No, says the umpire. That's not a wide. Score remains on 119. 119 for two. 119 for two. Really good batting here. Good partnership between Williams and Burton. Here is Proctor to bowl to Williams. Bowl to Williams. Williams is pushing this one straight to the man at extra cover. That's Munson Hodge who feels no run resulting. The score remains on 119. 17 from 25. 17 from 25. That's the equation. 17 from 25. 45 is Burton. 27 is a uh, 37 is Williams. Here is Proctor to bowl to Williams. Williams is tugging this one on the inside. Runs here. They've gone for one. We'll look for a second run. They're coming back for it too. And they will get it very easily. Total moves on to 121. At the end of over number 16, Williams moves on to 39. Williams moves on to 39. It's 121 for two. Burton on 45. Williams on 39 in search of 136 for victory. And uh, the Beamers are inching ever so closer to victory. It's uh, just another mere 15 runs to get to the winning target to see themselves in the finals here is the Beamers. And I you can really see that these two batters here in Burton and Williams has, have really kept their heads and uh, kept their team in with a chance and uh, it would be fitting to, for them to see it to the finishing in Millie. Indeed. Well, I see my boy is going to look to uh, put a touch of magic into this one. And he need a miracle, he need more than magic, he needs a miracle. Uh, to pull this one off, the Super Sixers. But it is cricket. And we are still at the James Ronald Webster Park. Cricket, a game of glorious uncertainty. Masimba Bowen has so far bowled two overs, conceded 14 runs. Here is Masimba Bowen, taken up from Hodge from the Central Polyclinic End. We're gonna be bowling to Burton who is on 45, 15 required, 15 from 24, 15 from 24, the equation, can't be simpler, you can't ask for anything that is easier. Well, Burton is taking, uh, well, uh, Boeing is taking his time, uh, maybe he's slowing down things a bit. Here is Burton, taps away, waits for Simba Boeing's, Boeing's, so this one is driving, it is going to fall very much short of Bryson. One more to Burton. He moves to 46. 46. And the total moves to 122. 122. 122 for two. The Beamers. They are sensing victory here at the James Ronald Webster Park. 
And a final board next to the Razor Massive. Here is Massimba going to ball to Williams. Ball to Williams. A full pitch delivery that is pushing down to long off. Gets his 40th run. Gets his 40th run. And the total moves on to 123. 123. It's 13 to be had. 13 runs. 13 from 22. 13 from 22. Masimba Bowen turned at the top of his mark from the central polyclinic end, moves away and breaks into a run, passes umpire and Bowen and yes, brilliantly caught! Brilliantly caught! Magnificent catch! For, and it is none other than uh, Munson Hodge and Bowen goes for 46. Bowen goes four runs short of his 50. And the partnership has been broken. The captain coming on and adding his touch of magic. And Burton goes 123, 123 for three. Well, um, could that be 123 for two there? And uh, could that uh, see? Uh, could that uh, see some wobble here in the part of the beamers? But I was want to think that the button has done the hard work. Amelie, uh, who's the batter that's going in there to that now? And it's going to be. Uh, Daniel Dorham, Daniel Dorham, who is going to be taken up uh, from where Burton would have left off. Some 73 runs partnership, a 73 run partnership being broken by Masimba Boyne, and we are seeing now the skipper for the Beamers walking into the park. That's uh, Lindell Richardson to see that his team is on the voyage of victory. 13 runs from 21 balls, seven wickets in hand. Oh, I'm certainly sure that uh, Williams would have met uh, Doran on his way to the crease and saying, well, we have to take it home from here. Just make sure you play circumspect and uh, play, play positively. And uh, we could certainly win this match easily if we just do that. We are way ahead of the rate, way ahead, and certainly can win this uh, one here as Boeing runs away here from Here is Boeing, it's the ball to Durham. Durham is driving, driving past some months in Hodge. They have gone for one. They are looking for two. They are going to come back for it. And they have sent it a, a good attempt, but uh, two runs to Durham immediately off the mark. Durham is on two, and the total moves on to 125. 125. 125. 125 it is. 125 for three. Here is Boeing's to bowl to Durham. Durham is getting one that is working off the pad. Not going to get one. Well, he's going to get one. He's going to get one. Durham gets his third run. And it brings Williams, who is on 40 on strike. Total moves on to 126. 126. 10 runs from 19 balls. 10 runs from 19 balls. The equation. 10 runs. All of seven wickets to get. Here is Masimba Bowen to bowl to Williams. Bowl to Williams to this delivery. He is getting a wide down the leg side. This one is going to get close to the fence. It's not going to get there. And it's going to get two runs. Two runs. Added to the total. Wait for this. Oh, it's a run. Oh, in fact, it's a run. I thought uh, he got a bat to that one. Thought it was a wide. It was down the leg side, and he managed to get a, a bat to it. So Williams gets his 41st run, and the total moves on to 127. 127 for three at the end of over number 17. You just run one? Yeah. 127 it is. 127. 
with just nine runs to get. Nine runs from 18 balls. It's all Beamer's game to lose from here on in. All Beamer's games, game to lose. It's going to be da uh, Daniel Proctor, who's going to be bowling his final over. He has bowled three overs for 14 runs, not yet picked up a wicket. And that is the important thing. That's what Beamers would have wanted for Proctor. It doesn't matter what he would end with, ensure that that fourth column goes with a zero. Wicketless, Proctor is so far. Three overs, he has bowled 14 runs. Batsman out so far. Uh, Saunders went for eight when the score was on eight. It was Lewis who went for 17 when the score was on 50. And uh, we just saw the dismissal of Burton with a score on 123 with a 73 run partnership. Here is uh, Proctor to bowl to Williams. Williams is driving and he's going to get one half stop there by uh, Proctor on his follow through. Williams goes to 42. And the total moves on to 128. 128 for three in the course of over number 18. 128 in search of 136 for victory. Just eight runs. Just eight. Eight is what they're requiring. Eight runs they are requiring. It brings the left hand the Durham on strike. Very tall. About 6'5", you think, Tony? Uh, just maybe they about 6'3", 4". Uh, very tall, man. Here is Proctor. Slow ball down the leg side. Uh, trying to walk that one wide. This is the umpire. Call and signal. Total moves on by 1 to 129. Oh, they are inching closer. They are inching ever so closer. Seven runs. Oh, the Beamers, they can't sit still at all. They cannot sit still. The Beamers, they are looking. To overthrow the Sixers. A full ball, that's a no ball. That's a no ball. Call and signal by the square leg. That's a no ball. Call and signal by the square leg. And it's going to be a free hit. It's going to be a free hit. 130. 136 runs to be had. Six runs is all they need. What would be a way with this free hit to get it over the boundary for six? <laughs> I, I, I think he's going to bowl him. I think he's going to bowl him with this free hit. With this ball. But a free hit. He can't get out. He can't get out. He hits this one. High, hard. One bounce into the fence. It goes away for four. And the total moves on. Or races on to 134 with just two to get. Two to get. Well, well, well. The pointers. We thought at one time when we came here this morning that the pointers were sitting into the finals. It wasn't to be. It is a game of cricket. Cricket, you must play. Oh, well, well, well. It, is, it wasn't about the big names. It wasn't about the likes of Ross Powell and Omari Banks on paper. It was the likes of Jacob Pauls, oh, who came out for the Razor Massive and really stumped their authority. Now it is the Beamers, Dion Burton and uh, Damian Williams. And they really, really took it away when they had to rebuild. They did so well with Michael Lewis at the fall of Sanders wicket but here it is two runs to be had and he's bowl Durham goes bowl by Proctor and it's not over well, it's it not, is not over not over at all Durham bowl for seven it's 134 for four Tony it's not over not over, but is that one? It is not over. Is that Mentos going to the crease there now? It's Mentos who is walking to the crease. <laughs> Mentos is walking to the crease. 134. 134 it is. Uh -huh. With the big man, was it Mentos walking to the crease, Tony? 
They've got 15 balls and they only need to get two runs. Uh, can they lose it from here? If you ask me, I would say no. And uh, even though we say oftentimes that cricket is a game of glorious uncertainties, I'm, I, I don't see any certainty where the uh, Beamers uh, should lose this match at all. But um, we can never say never. Uh, the new batter is Mentos, and all he has to do is maybe get a single and give the inform and the, uh, the Williams, who have played so well there, the striker uh, to see this game through. And um, Proctor, on the other hand, will have other ideas, though. Millie. Well, it wasn't Mentos to do battle against Daniel Proctor, the division middle order batsman all around there. Here is Proctor to Mentos. A full pitch delivery drives, drives well. He's going to get off the mark and uh, he gets one. Mentos gets one. Scores are level. Scores are level. We are not going to have a super over. We are, are we going to have a super over, Tony? No, uh, uh, super well, over. <laughs> a super Unless over. there is a miracle, no super over. And this could be where the Sixers crash out of the competition. He crashes out of the competition and he drives Williams and it would have been a way. What a way it would have been. Williams to hit the winning runs. Yes, certainly. On one and a half leg to win to hit the winning run still has another chance because remember we had a no ball and a still wide have opportunity Over, still have yeah. his, his opportunity williams williams stops away he's on 42 wait for daniel proctor with the final ball of his spell one for 21 so far he drives back to proctor on the bounce one for 21 is where he's gonna end it's 135, 135 for four. Scores are level. One to get with all of 12 balls to be bowled. Yes, one to get from 12 balls. And they should do that uh, pretty comfortably. And uh, what I can say, though, is a well-measured, uh, comfortable chase here for the Beamers, uh, the Farringtons. Super Sixers has not been the best this year and uh, that has shown throughout the course of the tournament and uh, all the way into the final, as w the semi-finals, sorry, they would have scored 134 runs, 35 uh, to be exact, and uh, uh, found it very difficult to defend such beamers really motoring on just one run to get for victory. Tomorrow is finals day. Razor Massive, Beamers, you have to be here at the James Ronald Webster Park. It all bowls off right here. Here is Masimba Bowen to bowl. What could be the final over? To Mentos, Mentos drives! Pass of Bryson into the bong before runs. That's the winning runs. And uh, Tony, that is the Beamers getting into the finals. Next to Razor Massive, a defeat for the Big Guns. Yes, uh, defeat for the the champions. Defeat for the champions there in the Farrington Super Sixers. Not able to defend the uh, the title uh, this time around. And um, 139 for four, 18.1 overs there. As I say, good afternoon to the uh, man, Mr. Kelsick. A pretty good game there by the Beamers, well played. Yes, Beamers played very well, very well. They restricted um, the Super Sixers to 135 runs. And um, they had a scare early on when they started the innings with the fourth ball being um, getting um, some, um, Saunders, Saunders yeah. out. As if Sa Saunders was, as if he was on a racetrack. <laughs> yes. And um, then he had um, Samuels, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. And Samuels batted very well. And he got out eventually. But the, 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 the innings that we had, the, the, the partnership between those two batsmen, um, Burton, Burton and Williams, and, yeah. Williams. Burton and Williams, they really brought the, the Beamers back into the game. Sensible batting. They really batted well. They pushed the ball around. And as, as um, Millington was saying, which I would agree with him, right? In a situation like this, 
I'm going to bring in my pinch bowler early. My pinch bowler, this is my chief strike bowler to break the partnership. And as we saw there now, um, Proctor struggled today to get any wickets, eventually ending up getting only one wicket. But some very, very sensible batting from, from the Beamers batters here today. And, yeah. and th this exactly what they wanted to do and take them into the finals for tomorrow. Yes, and um, we, have, we have not really seen uh, this sort of application from any of the teams for that matter. But the Beamers, even though they would have lost Sanders very, very quickly, uh, they regrouped, they batted well. When Borton and Williams was batting, it's not that they were hitting uh, a, a numerous amount of boundaries, but they were turning over the, the, the strikes so very wonderfully well, um, picking up the twos, the ones and the twos, and was able to push the scoring on. And when it mattered most, the ad boundaries came in between that assisted them as well in their chase. That's so true, Tony. And also, they were turning the strike around because it was a combination of a left and right. So that will upset the feelers because each delivery and it's a run, you have to reset your feel. But all in all, it was really, really a good effort here by the Beamers today. And um, we look forward tomorrow in having a good match because it raised a massive, uh, another surprise here today. But we know in cricket, anything happens. Anything happens in the game of cricket. The pointers, they struggle to get 130, 135 runs. And incidentally, Incidentally, Tony, um, what happened today? Tony, incidentally, what happened? Both sides had to make 100 in the 30s. Yes. One side had to make 135 to win, and the other side had to make 136 to win. Very, very interesting. Very. So we just wait and see what happens tomorrow. Yes, and if we can get a game of this magnitude tomorrow, we will certainly say um, it was worth our time to be here. Uh, it was Munson Hodge who scored 75 in uh, the uh, Farrington Super Sixers turn at bat. Then we had Dion Button, who is actually a judge, the man of the match for today. He scored 46 of some 43 balls. He was uh, he so ably um, assisted by uh, Kay Williams as well, who scored 42. The pick of the bowlers for the Beamers was Joe Gums, uh, four overs, 12 uh, runs, and um, didn't pick up a wicket. Uh, and uh, we had uh, Joe Gums, four overs for 18 runs. As I say, good afternoon and welcome to our microphones to uh, Mr. Burton. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, your general thoughts and your performance out there today? Well, um, I just try and keep it simple, you know, just try and keep the gut balls to a minimum. I try and rotate the strike, I know, once, we are, once I stay in and somebody else stay in with me. Then one for the something is not too much of a big score to us. We just have to just keep rotating the strike, just keep the run rate going, and then eventually we we'll add up at the end. How you felt um, having the support of, of, of Williams batting with you? Um, he's not a fleet-footed runner, and you're the one. You're one who really squeezed the singles and the twos as much as possible. How did you think he assisted you all day today? Well, he, he did a, a pretty good job, I think. That I tell him once, yeah, once we stay in, it will get easier, and then he, he started he, he, um, getting the bad balls, getting the bong balls. I think that we understand each other very good. Um, throughout the tournament and so on, you had some ebbs and flows with the Beamers losing some games, some close ones, and so on. Uh, when it, what was the strategy like in the camp today, uh, going into this final, um, this semi-finals? Well, going to the um, semi-finals, I, I told the team that whatever happened in the past is in the past. We have a new game today. Is go hard or go home, and we just come in, keep it simple, keep the good vibes, keep the bad energy out, and pay it off. What are you expecting from the uh, from your team playing against the Razor Massive uh, tomorrow? Well, I don't expect nothing too much really. We're just trying to play simple cricket, try and keep to the basics, and the best team win. Last year you were in the finals. It kind of ended, kind of anticlimactically. Um, what are you? <laughs> Are you looking to lift the trophy tomorrow? Definitely. Um, I think that we, we missed out last year, so we come in this year harder. And I think that it's, it's ours. Well, we want to wish you all the best. Uh, um, uh, Dian, well played today as well. Well played from uh, at least start to finish. Uh, well, when your team was in the field, you bowled very well, especially in the power play, in, in curtailing the batters as well. And uh, when you did chase the runs, you did so splendidly. Mm. Just losing four wickets and seeing yourself through to the finals. And we want to wish you all the best tomorrow and looking for a good game as well. All right. All right. Thank Have you. a good one.
Well, we have with us as uh, the unsuccessful captain for today, that is the captain of the Sixers, Massimo Boyne. Say good afternoon to you. Uh, good afternoon, Millie. Uh, a very tough one. Uh, what are some of the things that w you thought went wrong for you today? Um, well, yeah, we had a good start with the bat. Um, I think, honestly, probably next 10-15 um, run shot, uh, we expected to get about 140, 145. That was the target. Um, unfortunately, we fall at 135, and I, you know, with the bowling that we had and uh, the spinners that we had, I think we could have defended it. Unfortunately, we at the start of the first four was so we allowed them to um, get away a little too far with the run. Uh, I, as, as commentators, we thought for a moment that you would have missed the trick um, when with dismissing Saunders very early and not uh, and the, the kind of start as you, you yourself alluded to, the kind of start that uh, uh, the beam has had, not to would have brought um, Proctor into the attack earlier. Um, we know that he has been using the depth um, in the previous games, but um, do you think that uh, it was an opportunity to bring Proctor early, earlier today? Yeah, um, we usually use them between um, the, uh, the 12th and the, the 16th over between myself and him to bowl about six overs between me and him just in case the game got away. Um, unfortunately, as I said, uh, we bring him on. Uh, we could have brought him on a little earlier, but then we had the spinner between Jeffrey Adams who, who bowled pretty well uh, the, the previous game. So we give him another opportunity to try and, and uh, stem things. I mean, we did it a little bit, but unfortunately, it's just that um, the, the, the Beamers, they were already basically ahead of the run rate, and we didn't get the wickets that we needed. And so, uh, as you, you, you said, um, you alluded to that Jeffrey Adams came on, but uh, you were leaking runs from one end. Right. Uh, even Jeffrey came on, and not only that you were leaking runs, you were, you were able to stem the run from one end, leaking from the other end, but what was most important for the Beamers, uh, they were not losing wicket and unfortunate for you. Yeah. Um, well, that, that's the good thing about, thing about cricket, um, with the Beamers, what they did well, I said, um, the captain himself, he stood there, decreased, um, knock around the ball, get singles, and then when he got a bad ball, he put it away. Uh, so they played extremely well, kudos to them. And unfortunately, I said, um, there are a few things we could have um, probably bowl a little better and you know, restrict them a little more uh, within the first six overs. Well, uh, it's another year. Um, what are some of the things that you are going to take away from this year, uh, season two, uh, APL? Well, for the season, I think um, what we think what was lacking is um, number of players, our key players who played in the first um, APL, who were in terms of um, Dimitri Adams and JDL Richardson, two of our key players, they were, also, they were not here, unfortunately. Um, the thing is, we need uh, to probably invest in a few younger players, you know, put in some practice uh, all, year, all year before the season started, I've gone two, three months in before that. So I think one of the things was lack of practice um, right with our team. Well, again, commiseration to you and your team. Tough luck, and it's a matter of going back to the drawing board. You know what you have to do, and come back uh, better and bigger for 2023, 20, season three. Yeah, sure, we'll be back. I'll be around still. I'm getting up in it, but I'll be there. Um, you know, to help out some of the youngsters, looking for some youngsters who want to play. Um, for me, I'm looking forward in terms of the probably play a little lesser role in terms of giving younger players the opportunity. Uh, to develop themselves and to get an experience uh, to move forward. Well, again, tough luck, but uh, Boyens, and uh, again, f to you and your team, it's a hard one uh, not getting back to the final, but crashing out at a semi final board um, today. Uh, thank you, man. A pleasure having you. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it was a, truly a pleasure bringing you live coverage as it unfolded before us here at the JRWP. Tomorrow, live from the JRWP, we are going to be coming to you at 1 in the p.m. And it's going to be big. Yes, it is finals day. It is the Razor Massive. They will be coming up against the Beamers. On behalf of all our commentators, the man Clyde O'Brien, we call him here Doc, Kelsic, and the man Tony Fleming. This is the voice of choice, John Millington, handing you over to Master Control, thanking you for being with us.